Good morning, good morning. Oh, how are you today? It's Tuesday, it's been stormy, hasn't it? Did you see the storms last night? It was really muggy and horrible, wasn't it? But anyway, I hope you're feeling all nice and fresh this morning. We certainly are. Uh, I feel really nice and easy today because I've seen a familiar face already this morning. She's going to be joining me at nine o'clock. Our gorgeous Fiona Hesford, who I've not seen for ages since last year so it's my first show with her on sewing street i'm really excited and i'll tell you about her makes in a moment first though today's early bird is a good one um whenever we do sort of kitchen projects whenever we do things like um, hot pots or if we do oven gloves, if we do kitchen makes or even cooler boxes as well, cooler like lunchbox bags or cooler things, this is always an essential and it always sells like hotcakes anyway. Today we've bundled it as an early bird special with a saving. If you set your alarm nice and early, if you wake up with us at eight o'clock, then you're gonna get a discounted product. Today, this is Thermalan. And it's basically like a compressed fleece you can see it's like a wadding but it's a complexed fleece and it is uh, an official visaline product so it's beautiful quality you're going to get basically two meters because each piece is virtually a meter square it's one meter by 90 centimeters so you've got loads and loads and loads there but if you are thinking of doing projects where uh you do want to use heat on it i know that they recommend doubling up so this is a perfect time especially at that price to be able to to multi buy uh you're saving two pounds a day saving two pounds on your early bird special you can use it as a wadding or a batting you can use it for you know if you think in smaller projects like wall hangings or cushions and you do just want that extra little bit of fleece it's ever so soft indeed it's really really beautiful but it, it's going to give you that bit of structure ideal though with uh it's not i don't want to say it's not heat proof it's heat resistant and it isn't the one that you have got metal lines running through so you can use this in the microwave as well so if you're making you know lovely microwave bowls do you know what i mean like so you put your bowl in like a um, a fabric dish so that when you take your microwave your bowl out of the microwave, it's not hot, 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 you can use this for it. Um, have a look on the Visaline website as there is lots of instructions on there. I know uh, Laura had it open early this morning and it was saying loads of different uses. You can use it with virtually any fabric. You can use it, as I say, uh, if you are making things like your soup dish or something and you are wanting to chuck it in the washer or a lunchbox, then it is machine washable as well. I think of those of you that may be wanting to make are we thinking of September back to school, potentially? Lunch boxes or cooler things for picnics that a lot of people, it doesn't only keep the heating, it also keeps the cooling. I know a lot of people who are going on picnics and walks and things, so it's nice, maybe a backpack. I wonder with Fiona's backpack, whether you could put some of this in the lining and then it will keep the cool in as well if you want to put any of your sandwiches because that's a nice fancy bag to take on your uh, walks, isn't it? Just £9.98. pence. Remember, it is an early bird special. Let me open this out so I can show you on the desk how much you're getting. Because you can join it up. You can join it up. But I'm thinking for smaller projects, this is going to be ideal. Um, but look, you're getting loads of Thermalan for just £9.98, literally covered the whole desk. Um, £2 saving from our normal price and as I say normally it sells very very fast anyway. So I predict this will be an early sellout. If you are watching right now it's going to be a very very busy day. It would be a good idea actually to open your order nice and early as we've got some beautiful products today so you can make the most of that one PMP. It's like snow, isn't it? It's just that lovely compressed fleece. It's beautifully soft. Okay, so that's today's early bird. I don't know whether I should tell you now, but I've got a bit of a surprise for you as well. If you love early bird specials, those of you that wake up every morning at eight o'clock to find out the saving, tomorrow's is phenomenal. In fact, it's it's massive. It's there's been a lot of talk about it, a lot of meetings about it. Um, the boxes literally arrived here this morning and I've never seen so many boxes. I thought that was the whole show was there in the boxes, but actually it was just the early bird. 
it's the biggest one we've ever done and it's going to be tomorrow at eight o'clock. So do make sure you make the most of today's because I think this is going to be an early sellout. Uh, tomorrow's, hopefully, yeah, we've got enough for everybody to go around. So take advantage of our early bird specials. They're only while stocks last or for that day. So um, hopefully this will, will be enough for the day. But if you're watching on a replay, definitely worth checking out. Okay, so um, I know that Paul's got little slides as well of them. So we'll have a look at the skirt first because this is what, I mean, Laura, by the way, has already got her eyes on this one. This is so beautiful. We've got some gorgeous fabrics that are going to go really nicely as well. So the skirt has got um, a, a tie, it's got an elasticated waist, it's also got pockets, it's beautiful and pleated, it's so, so floaty. That is so nice, isn't it? So, there's a few different uh, skirts though. I think Fiona wearing it, have a look at this. This is Fiona, you might have seen this on the, uh, the Facebook page. There she is, rocking the skirt. She's just so fab, isn't she? Oh! That's the skirt here, it looks beautiful. Again, it's got that elasticated waistband, it's gonna be ever so comfortable. Especially, do you know, after lockdown, definitely need that just extra little bit of room. Elasticated waist is the way forward in 2020, certainly for me. We've also got, there was another one, oh, I think she's wearing it actually, I think she's wearing it. So then coming up later on as well at 11 o'clock, the kimonos look absolutely beautiful. I think that is just so nice to even put over a cami top. At the moment, we're all a bit, we're all a bit sort of unsure on what to wear in this weather, aren't we? Uh, do you wear short sleeves? Do you need long sleeves? Do you need a jacket? But then you're too hot. It's just confusing weather. So I think this is actually perfect for, for this sort of time of year when we're a bit sticky. It's weird weather. And a very, very versatile bag pattern. So you can make... This is a backpack, so this has got the backpack straps. We've got lots of different beautiful fabrics and, or I should say, or you could do it as a satchel. So I love the idea that a lot of people going on walks and going on picnics, you can have it as a backpack, but also nice to have an over the shoulder bag to keep with you. So again, this is some fabric that we've got and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've got some, this fabric that's gonna be um, coming up later on at 11 o'clock. So, as I say, Fiona's going to be joining me at uh, nine o'clock today, so a bit later than normal, but she's here. We lovely meet uh, her husband as well, and he's so nice. So we're very excited to get her on. This hour, though, we've got very, very exciting fabric. Those of you that uh, want to get in touch with us, we want to make today as interactive as possible. Whether you're messaging Fiona, whether you're going to tell us what you've done with your Tilda fabric, any of your Colour Me In panels as well, we've got a Colour Me In show. Uh, so if you do want to get in touch with us, email address is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com, or of course you can also message on Facebook. Now our Facebook page is Sewing Street TV. Sewing Street TV. That's our official Facebook page, which Laura, who's producing me today, um, as well as our marketing manager, Hayley B, she will be there on Facebook if you've got any questions. Hopefully I'll be able to answer them on air. If I don't, then they will um, message you back. Now, who wants Tilda? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Right, so, we've got um, complimentary bundles, we've got complimentary fabrics, we've got half meters, just dive in. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. right. So this one, we're going to start with the Plum Garden range. So before we even start on this, I'm going to just quickly mention, I don't always do this because it isn't necessarily always about price. It's, you know, the quality and getting the right products to you. But in this instance, when we're looking at a designer fabric that is so famous and so renowned, we're really, really proud to say that I think that our prices are better than anywhere else as well. Uh, just one live comparison that we've got um, is, uh, it is in fact quarters, it's not by the half metre, but if you were to look at half metre units, you're looking about seven pounds a half metre. I think Paul's got a, uh, yeah. So here you go, here's the, the, live, um, the live website right now this morning. So at the moment, quarter of a metre, fat quarter, is 345. So if you think by the half meter, that's only seven pounds, which for Tilda 
is brilliant. Tilda is just one of my favourite designers. I always think you can mix and match in between all of her collections. You can do so many different projects, whether it be dressmaking, these are absolutely gorgeous, bag making, toy making. Have a bit of a dive in because of whichever one you want, they're literally all half metres. Should we go for it? Let's start. So, this is from the Plum Garden Rage. It's so beautiful. Now this one is the only one that we've got available in this pattern. It is your Tilda Plum Garden Windflower in Nutmeg and it's so pretty. See what I mean? Now the chance to get it. It's the first time I've seen it by the half meter, by the way, and it's 5 99 These are the, the real idyllic Tilda fabrics as well, aren't they? These are the ones that if I spot them, I recognize them as Tilda, uh, and therefore I instantly think, oh, that's really special. It's designer fabric. It's gonna look beautiful with lots of your solids as well. Uh, it's a gorgeous ditzy print. So if you're thinking of smaller projects as well, like things for your workroom or little gift ideas, if you're starting out sewing, this price is fantastic to work with designer fabric. Or if you're thinking of dressmaking, now's your chance to buy by the half meter. Because all of these, whenever I see, it reminds me of, you know, our Kerry living in loveliness. She always has such beautiful dresses. Very, very um, Tilda-esque, actually. £5.99 a half meter. It's so pretty. And that nutmeg background is just like that mocha, beautiful colour. It's really subtle. It's a really subtle print, but it, it works so well. Just £5.99. I think, uh, yeah, maxi dress would look beautiful. That's just £5.99. We've also got... <laughs> right, let's do... Paisley print. Now, this is like, you know, when you think of paisley prints. This is the Tilda take almost on a paisley print. It's called Teardrops in Plum. But can you see what I mean? It's got that real sort of paisley classic print to it. And look at the detail. You've got the roses, the beautiful vines. You've got the delicate ditzy prints in the background, that beautiful plum. See, this is, if you team this with like a, a spot or even just a cream, we've got some Osnaberg coming up, which looks great with Tilda, especially Tilda dolls. It would look gorgeous. There's a lot of people I know who collect Tilda um, dolls and Tilda toys, basically. And um, they're, they're amazing. So even if you just buy half a metre of this, remember, half a metre, let me show you, is equivalent to two fat quarters. So your value for money is brilliant. Normally, there's sort of a standard price at, at Tilda. So, so normally you see, as I say, sort of £6.99, £7 and a half metre. Whereas this, I don't know how we've negotiated this price, but definitely make the most of it whilst we've got it here. It will come cut off the bolt on a continuous uh, meterage. So if you do want two metres, add four units to your basket. If you want um, <laughs> three metres, add six units to your order. Add as much as you want. It's going to be cut off the bolt for you. I do love plum. That colour's lovely. Oh, it reminds me of I went to um I went to Warwick Castle the other day with my uh with my little nephew and he he's just he's nearly two and he's obsessed with plums and we took him to the falconry show and we were like, look at these massive birds, and all he wanted to do was say about how juicy his plum was. I know, it was like juicy, juicy plum. That's so funny. I was like, look at the look at the massive eagles. <laughs> it's like, no. Right. <laughs> oh, this different colourway in like a coral. It's called peach. It's like a, a, a corally pink, isn't it? It's so pretty. Message in today. Let me know how you are. Just come and say hello. Oh, at 10 o'clock later on, we're doing uh, the Colour Me In panel. So we've got the rainbows, we've got the woodland, and we've got the under the ocean, which they're absolutely gorgeous. If you've not seen them before, Array of pens, but I want to see how you've used them. So send in any photographs because I've seen lots of people using the rainbows for dressmaking as well on the back of maybe denim jackets or uh, I want to see different ways of you use them for applique. If you, I know a lot of people have got them, so please message in if you've um, if you've already incorporated yours into a design. Maybe you've used them on the front of bags and odor coated them or 
Um, yeah, there's, there's loads of different ways of using them. Like this. I mean, this is something you could, again, fussy cut uh, and applique. Or you could use smaller ones for smaller pieces for English paper piecing. And they're all going to go together absolutely beautifully. We've got um, a, a book, Quilts from Tilda Studio as well, which we'll look at in a bit, which will give you some lovely inspiration in the quilting world. Obviously, these are quilting weight fabrics, but I don't want that to, to put anybody else off. Anybody who's not a quilter, I don't want you to think, oh, I can only use this for quilting projects. What about home furnishing? These would be beautiful little cushions in a, in a bedroom or in a, in a conservatory or living room. They're just so pretty. Now this again has got that nutmeg background. We've got uh, this almost a teardrop paisley kind of print in one other colourway after this. This is nutmeg. I like the blue flowers. The blue flowers are like a lovely turquoisey, turquoisey um, blue. It's beautiful. And I love that rose with the vine running down again. It really stands out. Oh, it's the vine, isn't it? The vine. £5.99. What was Ollie's joke this morning? Laura just said that was worse than Ollie's joke. Ollie's the director at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, someone's taken the ink out of the printer. Oh, no. Just £5.99. I can't even repeat it on air, it's that bad. <laughs> Five pounds, 99 and a half metre. You're thinking of um, sort of shirts and different blouses, aren't you, as well? They'd look pretty. What about for children's clothes? They'd be so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Just five, 99 and a half metre. I like the idea of, of doing gifts, things like laptop cases or, you know, the, the, the little tablet stands. Now so many of us have got all techy techy now with our Zooms and things. Remember back in, in March, Paul was the worst for it. I can't handle doing these Zoom things. I can't, I can't hear it. I can't get involved in your quiz because I can't be on there and do it. It's like, come on, Paul, you can work it out. And he's like, no, nope, can't. I, I'm not doing it. He's like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> he said it's because his um, laptop was made in when? 1992. Um, you need to get one of those like little stands, like one of those that, that prop it up. Because you know at the start when you were holding your phone, trying to... My mum was like this. I was like, mum, I can just see the ceiling again. Like, hold your phone up. Oh, how many people have maybe used this sort of technology for the first time ever? Uh, Laura says that she, she FaceTimed her grandparents for the first time ever. It's exciting, isn't it? I know Liam's uh, grandma's had a new phone during lockdown as well, and she's been FaceTiming him. I was thinking, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, really nice. This is on Blueberry. This is your teardrop on Blueberry. I know that my gran will be watching. Yes, gran, you need to get on the technology. She absolutely can't do it and refuses to. <laughs> Five pounds and 99. I must say, though, we did spend most evenings doing these Zoom quizzes, didn't we? It's got me through the last few months. I miss it. We need to do another quiz. Maybe for Liam's birthday. £5.99 for your blueberry colour. Gosh, isn't that blue absolutely beautiful? And I tell you what, right, hang on, let me show you. We've got solids, remember, on the website. So if you are purchasing any of the, um, if you are purchasing any, any of the fabrics, definitely have a look on the web shop. We obviously can't show you them all on air, but there's so many. There's loads of the solid fabrics. And this one, I believe, is called, is that Copen? Yeah, that one's called Copen. And I think that complements it absolutely beautifully. See, there's so many different solid fabrics, which we'll, we'll show you a few of them. But look at that detail as well. You can see that lovely rose, can't you? Oh, also, along with maybe some of the cotton poplins. That one goes really well with the... Um... They all look lovely. That one, though, especially goes perfectly with the roses, doesn't it? Well, have a look at those. They're the poplin spots. 
They've got quite a few complimentary um, fabrics that are going to go beautifully. Right, we've now got, I love this. This one, you know, when I was talking about computer things, so whether it be a stand or a laptop case or an iPad case or something like that, or a different tablet, um, these would look beautiful. Let me open it out again so you can see. It's 112 wide, it's quilting weight, 100% washable, beautiful quality. And a reminder, it should have been it should have been about seven pounds or uh, close to certainly, normally 749 and a half meter. I don't know what's happened to the prices, but I tell you what, for this idyllic, gorgeous Tilda, imagine a quilt that was backed completely in Tilda like this, these spots would be beautiful. And you can really draw on some of those colors, there's plenty of colors in there to, to play with. So you've got the blues, you've got the spearmints, you've got lavenders, pinks, yellows, blues, almost like um, a mint colour, I think a dusty, you know, dusty, what's it called? Dusty blue on the website would look nice with this. Misty blue, that's it, not dusty. Oh, we have, we have. We've got that one here. Oh, a shirt, absolutely, a Paul scan. Oh, I definitely could rock a shirt in this, couldn't I? You're not wrong, Paul, you'd look good in a shirt. See, this is lovely with that. Or what about... See, there's, if you just use a couple of solids as well, it's going to change that completely. Also, a pink would look beautiful, like quite um, a strong pink. But even if you're just separating it, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know, that's too busy for me. By just adding in solids, one, it will mean that the fabric will go further, but also it will look gorgeous. It would look gorgeous. Just 5.99 a half metre. Oh, you're thinking... Um, Ironing board cover. Oh, by the way, if you want to do an ironing board cover, you know the Thermaland that we've had today is the early bird, you would need a couple of um, layers of it. Remember, it's not heat proof, it's heat resistant, so use a couple of layers, but you can use it for um, ironing board covers. I need a new ironing board cover. Mine's so bad. I'd love to make myself one, actually. They're expensive, aren't they, to buy yourself? That would be lovely for um, a, sort of a child or teenager's bedroom as well, or things like a bean bag or, you know, I love that, that's really nice. Quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack. This would be great for fussy cutting. This would be really good for fussy cutting. What do you mean? They don't look like ducks. What? They're absolutely textbook ducks, aren't they? Laura, you've not lived. Laura says, I've not seen a duck that looks like that before. Oh, they're lovely. Quack, quack. <laughs> and look at those beautiful vines. Beautiful, beautiful vines. Just £5.99 half metre. This is your plum garden in duck, in duck nest plum. <laughs> Just so you can see the detail, it's lovely, isn't it? This is again with that gorgeous plum background. See, if you're just fussy cutting and um and doing almost like a symmetry, almost EPP project, you know the ones using the mirrors, the technique using the mirrors, that would be so cool. You could do some amazing new fabric, almost creating a new fabric, like kaleidoscopic ducks. Love it! <laughs> Five ninety nine. I didn't think I'd be saying that phrase before um, nine o'clock this morning. Kaleidoscopic ducks. Same again, this time in um, peach. I'm calling it coral. It's like a pinky coral. It's so pretty. Five ninety nine. Now this is a larger print, isn't it? It's so lovely. And this is again undoubtedly Tilda. Tilda uses the most beautiful, beautiful colour palette and she uses the same sort of colour palette across the board of different collections. So, I mean, this is the, the Plum Garden range. We've got another range which we'll show you um, in a minute and you're going to see lots of the same sort of plums and teal tones, turquoise, which will go beautifully with this as well. It's only 5 99 and a half metre though. There has never been a better time to stock up. Just so you know, if you are making things for the kitchen, if you're making a heat, uh, heat resistant uh, pot, uh, pot holders or things like that, make the most of the Thermaland. Half the stock has now sold out and we made sure that we had plenty of that to go around. So be quick to sell out on that, to, uh, to check out on that one. 5 99 We've got one other 
or two other actually. I've got nutmeg up next. Laura's ever so organised with all these, putting them in order and everything. Thank you. You watching, Hannah? Take note. <laughs> Me and Hannah are always in a kerfuffle with our stickers, aren't we? I'm always like, oh no, don't know what this one is. I always lose these little stickers that are on there. So thank you, Laura, for putting this in order. Five ninety nine and a half meter for your plum garden in nutmeg. Yeah, hands a presenter now, really, isn't she? She was ever so good the other day. I did watch her. I was um, giggling. She was. Um, what was it that I was laughing at? She was really funny. Just, just at her in general, I think I was just laughing. She was really good. She's like, she gets ever so nervous about going on air, and she's just. Yeah, she's real natural, I think. Five ninety nine and a half meter with nutmeg background, beautiful blue. Again, this will look lovely with uh, your copen. Also looking up with the peach because you'll see these sort of peachy colours that are coming through on the flowers. So we've got only one other in the uh, duck fabric. Oh, I know, they're lovely. So... Paul, now he's living the life. He's seen lots of these ducks. He's seen them on um, on his walks. That's what half a metre looks like. Look from there. They look like chandeliers, don't they? Doesn't look like ducks from here. It's not like a, oh, that's a, you know, that's a, an obvious duck novelty fabric. It's actually really cool. I love it. And it's got a lovely royal blue. Do you know what they remind me of? You know, when you go to, um, well, when we used to be able to go to the theatre and they've got like the boxes on the side, they look like the royal box and the ducks. Yeah, love it. 5.99, a half metre. Once again, I've only seen these in fat quarters, so it's really exciting to be able to bring these by the half metre, especially at that price. So if you are thinking of larger projects, I know the fat quarters are brilliant, especially for smaller things, but I also know how many people love doing dressmaking with Tilda or love you know, doing some structured dresses. Obviously, um, it is a quilting weight cotton, so it will be more structured if you're using it for dressmaking. But also, it'd be great for bags as well. Love it. Okay, now, I don't want to call these the um, blenders, because they're not. They're designer Tilda fabrics. But what I like about these is that they're slightly more sort of subtle in design, that they mix in so beautifully with these more um, detailed. This one's called Berry Jam. Uh, the colour on this is called wicker. It's like almost like your wicker basket colour, isn't it? It's lovely. £5.99. Berry jam, because it's all like little berries. You'll see when I, if I put it on the table, then you can see the detail a bit clearer. But it's got beautiful, like little berries. £5.99 and a half metre. Did you just Google berry jam? She's like, she, Laura's like, oh, I've just, I've literally just Googled it and found lots of berry jam. I'm like, yeah, what did you expect to find? <laughs> I would love to make my own jam. It's like slow season at the minute. On one of my walks, I, there was this big tree with lots of slows on and all the raspberries that are starting to come out. And I thought, oh, I'd love to go raspberry picking or slow picking and make a slow, slow gin, obviously, but also like raspberry jam be lovely although um, my friend grows lots of strawberries and she gave me a huge big colander Lauren and um, I was going to make um, strawberry jam and then I looked and how much sugar goes into it it's crazy it put me off put me off go on what's your hack strawberries chia seeds and honey really no sugar maple syrup or I suppose honey Honey's probably sweet enough, isn't it? Oh, that's good, because it really put me off. I thought, right, do you know what? I will just have strawberries with a little bit of sugar on. <laughs> but it's beautiful. £5.99. We've also got the blue. What about pickling things? What's your opinions on that? <laughs> what has she pickled? Your mum's done some pickling. This is again berry jam in teal for $5.99. She's done beetroot, pickled beetroot, nice. This is um, again in teal this time. It's really lovely. $5.99. Pickled cabbage, no. 
Has anybody ever pickled eggs? Apparently the process of pickling eggs isn't best. I've never tried a pickled egg, but I love pickled onions though. And gherkins, like pickles. <laughs> Anyway, sorry to put you off your breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, Paul's feeling sick now after me talking about pickled eggs. Pickles in Mediterranean food, like little pickles. 5.99 a half metre. How did we get onto pickles? Right, let's do the plum. We've also got it in pink, but do you see what I mean about using it as more of a blender? Or keep um, tuned, stay tuned for the, the other collection as well. You know what I'm trying to say. Stay with us for the, the next collection because these will look lovely with the other collection as well. All right, thank you. <laughs> I always get my um, words in a pickle. I'm always in a pickle. Um, I think I once said, um, I don't know why, I, I think I went to say, oh, lovely, thank you, to a waiter. Oh, lovely, thank you. Instead, I said, love you. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't mean that. I meant, lovely, thank you. <laughs> $5.99 for your jam plum. Very jamming plum. We've only got one more, this time in pink. <laughs> Can you hit Paul in there? <laughs> and we've also got it in blue. Oh, this would make a beautiful quilt, by the way. There's some gorgeous ones. I'll show you how these are used in the book in a moment. £5.99, a half metre. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Again, this would make such a lovely, maybe like a little girl's dress. It's more pinky, it's more coral pink, isn't it, than peach? 5.99 a half metre. No. Check out your baskets on the web. As many units as you want, it is going to be cut off the bolt, especially for you. We've got one other colourway. This is Berry Jam in blue. It's very nice. Oh, nice. The next one's gorgeous as well. Yeah, I really like this colour. I think these would make beautiful, beautiful cushions as well. Little scatter cushions, maybe. And because you've got a smaller print, if you are doing EPP or smaller projects, you're gonna, not going to lose any of the larger scale prints. So, for example, the next one, don't get me wrong, you can still use it for EPP, but you'd just lose some of the, um, the print, whereas this is perfect for smaller projects, ditzy prints. I think this is the great thing about Tilda is they almost eliminate the hard work for you. When you're starting to design your own quilts and you're thinking about what fabrics to use, you've got to think about different scales of print, you've got to think about different textures to the eye, which Tilda has just done for you with this collection. You've got an arrange, uh, array of prints, array of colours that are all complementary. This, I'm going to say, is my favourite. I love this. <gasps> How gorgeous. What? Already? Where is this hour going? We've got so much to do. We're going to have to speed up. This is your autumn bouquet in teal. It's Beautiful. I think it's upside down though. There we go. Ah, uh, I suppose you can have it either way, can't you? But that's my favourite. I think this would be so beautiful in a dress. I think this would be amazing for bag makers as well. Soft furnishers, if you're thinking of uh, toy making, maybe get yourself some Osnaberg uh, that we've got coming up in the show. The £5.99 half metre. They're amazing. I've got it in diff one other colourway, um, two other colourways, three other colourways. And that's it, that's it for this collection. This is peach. Peach, blue, pink, raspberry. It's completely different in this one, doesn't it? Are they like little hearts? Oh, they're straws. Look, they're little strawberries. Look, you've got lovely little straw. Well, I'm calling them strawberries. What do you think? 
I'll just call them strobes. Oh, uh, you know, you know, um, yeah, you're not uh, down with the kids. They call them strobes nowadays. Oh, hang on, there we go. Like that would be amazing, just fussy cats. <gasps> Cliquet onto something. Oh, that is beautiful. Pardon? <gasps> Paul's niece turned 17 yesterday. I bet she um, calls them strobes. That's so lovely. And I like that it's got very delicate black line just outlining. It really emphasises that pattern. The purple? It's lavender. It's not plum, it's lavender. I think the other one, oh no, that was blue, wasn't it? This has got a lovely teal in it as well. So this one hasn't got the straws. Oh yes, it has, but because they're in orange, it just looks um, look different. Oh, I love that. This is your autumn bouquet in lavender. Let me put it still next to a plum color so you can see the difference. That's your plum. It's lavender. It's a slightly different, deeper, deeper shade. It's still going to look lovely though. Maybe with um, oh, with any of your fabrics. In fact, it might look nice with spots. Mm. Five ninety nine. It's crazy, crazy price. I like the purple and orange together. I think they work really, really well together. Purple would, I think this would suit you, Laura. Yeah, redheads can definitely wear uh, purple. Laura said that, no, they've said that she shouldn't be wearing purple. <laughs> Who shouts at you saying, don't wear purple? Do you know what colour really does suit you though? Like a green, emerald green. Oh, I say that all the time. I know, it looks so nice. Do you have anything in emerald green? Oh, you need to get an outfit in emerald green. Oh yeah, I can get you an emerald. 5.99 and a half meter. Autumn bouquet blue. Five ninety nine and a half and a half metre. Corals, there's lovely pinks, blues and your mockers. Or your, uh, what is it called in the range? Nutmeg. It's the nutmeg, isn't it? See, I'm all for a dramatic black background with quilting. It's quite contemporary. Also actually quite traditional. I know some of the Moda prints have got like quite a stark black background, which look amazing. Um, but just having it slightly softer with this nutmeg tone, I think complements it beautifully with the, the pastel shades. So let's get some inspiration going. We thought of loads of different projects that you can use these for. And I know that you're um, probably thinking of different patterns that you've got in mind already. But if you haven't, this book is brilliant. So this is a quilting book, but I suppose, remember, you can use the blocks and use them in different ways, on fronts of bags, or fronts of cushions, or however you want to. But again, designed around this same range. So, this book has always been extremely popular. It's already been um, selling very, very well on the website uh, and using lots of Tilda prints. So don't get me wrong, you could use those exact ones or you could use, um, you know, substitute ones. But it just gives you a bit of an idea. We've got like that cope and blue would look lovely with this. Different colourways, how it looks different. And I love how the pictures incorporate the little Tilda toys as well. It is just very sort of country, kitschy uh, cottage, isn't it? Kitsch, kitschy, do you know what I mean? I didn't mean, no, I didn't mean kitchen. But if you want to take like a jug or a teapot and, uh, and put that onto something else, you don't need to do the full quilt, do you? It's gonna give you the blocks look of how to do it. <laughs> I'm not just shortening everything today. I know I said straws, but... Um... <laughs> Look, the little dolls, little toys are so cute. So I'm not going to flick through it all because, um, yeah, let's face it, I want you to, 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 to buy the book. But you can see how lots of this, uh, this same range, in fact, is used in this book. 
Oh, the cat one's cool, isn't it? Cross quilt. There's so many. Your value for money is fantastic. This one I love. Look with the doll. That's a very Tilda doll as well. That's your plum party. So there's the same range that we've been looking at now here from your plum garden. Uh, check out your baskets as soon as you can. Make the most of it. I think we made like a draft excluder using this one before. So there's so much more than just these big quilts that you can make all through the seasons as well. £14.99. Oh, there you go, look. Make cushions and pillows. And they're all of your templates, which look like they're to scale as well, which is fantastic, all on there as well. So loads of quilts and lots of projects to be getting on with for £14.99. That will give you some inspiration. Now, I did notice that... Um, with lots of, especially the toys or the bags, or if you just want to add a bit into it, it is Osnaberg. It's beautifully soft. It's two fifty. Can I show you what you get for two fifty? You get so so much. All of this fabric for just two pounds fifty, and I must say I love that. Almost, it's a natural seeded Osnaberg. So you've got. Almost like fancy vanilla ice cream. You know, when you see those vanilla little um, seeds, little pods. All right, Paul, there we go. <laughs> £2.50 for that lovely seeded Osenberg. Uh, for rag dolls and for toy making, I think this is going to be absolutely ideal. Um, yeah, I suppose as an affordable alternative, you could use this if you're making um, a toilet in dressmaking or similarly in bag making. If there's a certain bag that you want to make up and you're thinking, right, I want to just have a, a bit of a mock-up and a bit of a, a, a try with it first, then this is great. You could use it for, for linings and you can use it for, I'm thinking for the insides of cushions. So if you're doing a quilted cushion and you want to almost do like the inside of your, your quilt sandwich, if you will, on the front of your cushion, you can make like your cushion inner with it, couldn't you? Just two pounds fifty a half meter, and once again, you can buy by the half meter. It's back in stock. We've got loads in stock, so now is your chance. If you've bought anything already today, it's definitely worth adding a half meter or a meter of this to your basket whilst it's on air, especially if you've already paid your three pound ninety five uh, posting packaging, which is one pmp all day long. Right. What? Sorry, that Laura. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Laura. Uh, um, the... These ones. Right, let's go for... Oh, lovely. I don't think I've seen these before. This is, um... This is Mary. They did another collection where it was like Eleanor and Josephine. There was Phoebe, wasn't there? I think it was in the the one that was named after her grandma's uh, her grandma's dressing room. I can't think what what collection it was. Bird pond? No, I can't think. Five pound ninety nine and a half meter. It's so lovely. That's classic roses, isn't it? That would again make a beautiful, beautiful dress. Colours lovely. That teal, £5.99 and a half metre. We're running out of time, so I am going to whiz through these quite quickly. So um, have a quick check on the website. Even if Laura's taking the graphics out, it doesn't matter. You can still go through, remember, and speak to the team or, or check out on the website. Everything is listed underneath us on the web. This is Mary Pink. I do love that rose colour with lovely pinks. Oh, straws and cream. 5.99 half metre and it is, it's not a stark white in the background, in fact this would look lovely with the natural seeded Osnaberg. It's more of like a creamy um, uh, ivory tone, it's beautiful. But the detail, I must say, is fantastic, the quality of the printing on that is, is really, really, really top spec. Let's do lilac. See, even though this is a different collection, can you see how the colour palette's very, very similar? This is what I love about Tilda, is that even though she'll bring out lots of different ranges, still give you that same lovely feel to it and, and similar colour palette, so you'll be able to mix in with, with previous collections that you might already have in your stash. They're lovely, aren't they? See, I'd, I'd again, I was thinking of fussy cutting these, but I really like seeing that contrast with the lighter lavender in the background. 
just five ninety nine. Just a reminder, we started the show by showing you an online comparison, a live comparison where, honestly, I think we're so competitive on price. Normally, Tilda is around seven forty nine. We found a company that were offering it for seven, um, just about seven pound a half meter, and we're at less than six. Less than six. Here's the lovely blues. Old rose. This is so pretty. Oh, what's the, it reminds me of um, Fancy China. Is it Delph? Delph Pottery. Or um, there's another one, isn't there? Wedgwood. I do blue and white. It's very pretty. Five pounds, 99 and a half meter. The Atilda Old Rose in Mary Blue. Oh, I do love that contrast in colour. Very pretty indeed. That's the only other one that we have in this print. The next, uh, the next print is called Lucy. We've got three in this colourway. Again, smaller scale print, but still with these lovely roses. Half a metre, remember. Half a metre, buy the half metre so you can buy as much as you want at this point. It's the only time I've ever seen these fabrics. Um, we've had the Bird Plum range in the, um, in Plum Garden, sorry. We've had the Plum Garden in Fat Quarters. It's the first time I've personally seen it by the half metre. And I've not seen any of these by the half metre or pre-cuts before. That's really pretty, isn't it? Teals and pinks together. Lovely. Lavender next. Oh no, we have whizzed through these. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get them all in. That one's lovely as well, isn't it? I love those almost like wreath, those frames of roses. Lovely lavender, I think is very, uh, it's a color that's just quite calming, isn't it? I always love it, especially in um, bedroom or guest bedroom, it would look lovely having just details of, of calming, lovely lavender. You could even make almost those scent pouches, like nice hearts with, with lace and lovely buttons with Tilda would look nice. The next one that we have, and the only other one that we have in this pattern is in blue and green. Oh, that I think is quite bridal. Do you know what I mean? They almost look like horseshoes there. I love that. 5.99 and a half metre. Very delicate blue. Yeah, christenings and oh, it's so pretty. That blue is beautiful. That would go perfectly with the Copen, with the Copen solid. We're gonna have a look at some of the complimentary uh, fabrics if we get a chance. If we don't, please do have a look. Don't forget on our website. If we don't get a chance, I'll make sure I uh, show you them at 10 o'clock. Here's your lavender. This is, is this Eliza, uh, Eliza Rowe, Eliza, Eliza Mauve? It says Eliza Mauve Lilac. Five ninety nine a half meter. This is the only one that we have of Eliza. Lovely blues and greens. Just five pound ninety nine half meter. You are thinking of, what about little projects, you know, like little pin cushions and scissor keepers and uh, what about almost like glasses cases and nice little gifts for people? Even if you're just taking half a metre. If you've got any of the Wendy Gardner books that are fat quarters, remember half a metre is equivalent to two fat quarters. So there's loads of projects that you're going to be able to make with half a metre. Right, bird song. We've got one, two, three, four different colourways to show you. And it actually says bird song on it. I really like this print. I've never seen it before. Brand new to me. And can you see that it actually says bird song on the little banner? That is gorgeous again. Look, little bird song and hearts. They are so pretty, aren't they? Look at that. And it, once again, incorporating these teal colours coming through. It's a lot more vivid when you get it at home. Um, you can't quite see it at home, but it has got the most beautiful sky, tealy, turquoisey blue. Very pretty indeed. We've also got it in cream. It's the first 
time I've seen ever. I always like to think that I am a bit of a an expert when it comes to Tilda Prince. I almost um, yeah, I, I do. I do recognise them like a hawk eye of like, there's Tilda, I recognise it anywhere. I wouldn't know that this was Tilda, I've never seen him before. Five ninety nine half and a half metre. Oh, we've had messages in about tomorrow's early bird. I know it's very exciting, isn't it? Today's early bird, over half the stock has gone. So check out on that as soon as you can. But definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's early bird as well. It's going to be epic. Five ninety nine half meter. Pardon, sorry. You've had a, a, a question about today's early bird. Hello, Pauline. Um, it's sewing. It's not a, a fusible. If you want a fusible, if you want a fusible foam, there is the Styleville on the website, and there's H six forty, and that's a fusible interfacing. But you wouldn't be able to use that with like your heat. It's not a heat resistant one. I don't know if they do an iron-on heat-resistant um, interfacing or what doing, but have a look on the uh, the Visaline website for the because this is an official Visaline product as well, and it's at the early bird price today, so it's definitely worth making the most of it. Five ninety nine a half meter this time in blue. Oh, that's really rich and regal, isn't it? It's more of like um, a violet. I'm going to say like Parma violets. Do you like Palmer Violet, the sweets? Do you? I wonder whether it's like the whole um, coriander thing. You know, sometimes people who have coriander, they... Coriander. 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 Sorry. Coriander. Coriander. Um, apparently, it is a thing that some people genuinely taste like washing up liquid in their mouth, like soap. I like coriander, but some of people who I know hate it. Yeah, vaguely. But maybe um, palmer violets is like that, because I think palmer violets taste like soap. Oh, no. 5 99 half metre, but Paul says they're delicious. <laughs> oh, I put, I, I had a rookie mistake putting lots of mint in my broccoli soup the other day. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be like pea and mint soup, but with broccoli, but put a lot of mint in. Oh, oh, oh. That was really random. One of the uh, mannequins fell over. <gasps> da, 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 da. There is definitely a ghost in this building. <gasps> Thank you. Paul's investigated. We're all right. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, this is like your misty blue. Let me show you if you are teaming this with your misty blue and I'd go peach as well. I'll go your misty blue and the peach as well would look lovely. Five ninety nine and a half metre. Yeah, I love roses. They look so lovely, don't they? Five ninety nine and a half metre. Right, that's the last one. How long have we got, Paul? Right, we've got enough to do some um maybe some um, poplin spots. These are lovely complementary peats. Pe um, what am I trying to say? Complementary fabrics. The cream, gonna go with every single one of them that you see, it's absolutely perfect with all of them. And it's got a lovely uh, mocha spot on it, really pretty. It's a very warm cream, isn't it? It's lovely. 399 and a half metre, just be aware, it is obviously your poplin weight, so it's a lighter weight cotton. But again, if you're using any of your interfacing, be absolutely fine. Just three pounds, 99 and a half metre. Have a look on the website and type in 100% cotton. We will do them in the 10 o'clock show, but if you do want to, um, to have a look on the break, then definitely type in 100% cotton on the website and you'll be able to find some lovely complimentary fabrics. If there's any in particular that you want me to have a look and see if I think it will go, let me know. Um, so this is your plum. We've talked a lot about this colour this, um, this hour. This is going to be beautiful with lots of projects. 
great just having your stash as well, isn't it? For linings, for, for, for purses and for bags. You can obviously use it still for dressmaking. Just be aware it's a slightly lighter weight than the quilting weight. So if you're quilting with it, it will feel slightly different. But um, it is still absolutely fine for, for quilting with. Makes my eyes go funny looking at the end. Um, this is the Rose and Hubble beautiful quality fabrics. The last one is your Rose. Now I'm seeing this to go with so many different prints. I'm going to put it here so I can show you just very, very quickly. Yes, looks beautiful. It's going to go so well with all of that range. It's going to look really, really nice with, um, with any of your... I'm thinking these ones as well, your paisley style or your spot. 3 99 half meter. On the other side, maybe with any of your purples, matches the banners. Lovely. £3.99 a half metre. Right. Over the next couple of minutes, while we get Fiona on, have a look on the website at the Early Bird Special. Check out as soon as you can. Any of the half meters you've seen, the Osnaberg is a big one as well. Loads of you have grabbed lots of Osnaberg, which is exciting. And also have a look on the complimentary colors, 100% cotton to see any of the fabrics to go with your, with your um, beautiful Tilda. Yeah, over 100 units of Osnaberg has already gone. So check out, do not go anywhere. We're coming back with gorgeous Fiona Hesford and we're gonna be making an amazing, amazing skirt. So stay with us, we're back after this. A little birdie has told me something very exciting that I just have to share with you. So you may know that the early bird product often sells out each morning at eight o'clock. Our buyers have been working so hard to be able to bring you an early bird with enough stock so that everybody can take part and everybody can benefit from the huge saving. They've pulled out all the stops and tomorrow at eight o'clock, I'll be bringing you our biggest ever early bird. It's a fabulous product. It's at the most amazing price. It's brand new, it's useful, and it's a must have for all sewers. Set your alarms and join me at eight o'clock tomorrow for our biggest ever early bird. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colors that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, 
you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learned lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns, which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Welcome back, welcome back. Right, very, very exciting hour and some breaking news. In fact, before I get into that, we've got a gorgeous, gorgeous skirt pattern. Now, a lot of people have been messaging Fiona. I know she's been really, really busy over the last few months with so many people, I think, have been getting into dressmaking, getting into sewing in general. So I know Fiona's been very, very busy uh, and answering a lot of beginners' questions as well. So we're almost like taking dressmaking back to basics. For anybody who is potentially found us over the last few months during lockdown or maybe just invested in your first sewing machine and want to get into uh, you know how to read a pattern and how to, to start dressmaking we'll go through it all with Fiona we've got some beautiful beautiful skirts in fact you probably saw this on our social media there she is rocking the skirt woo Woo! I love Fiona. So um, we'll have a look through and 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 some uh, some fabrics as well because we've paired them with the patterns. Do you want to go through them now, Laura, or can we just mention this competition? Very exciting. Thanks to gorgeous Fiona Hesford. We got a competition for anybody who purchases any of Fiona's kits today. Now that can be the skirts, that could be the bags coming up in the eleven o'clock hour. It could also be the kimono coming up in the eleven o'clock hour. Anybody who purchases is automatically entered into a prize draw to win one of these. Now, the pre-printed panels from Fiona, they're from So Girl, and, I mean, you can use these however you want. You could do some patchwork projects with these. You could do some lovely bunting like Fiona's done here. They're gorgeous, aren't they? So, there you go. Chance to win. Shop for four chances to win, in fact, there's four chances to win as Fiona's very kindly doing all of these as giveaways. So somebody will win uh, the pink one, someone will win the green, the blue, um, and we will reveal the winner tomorrow. On to Is it on tomorrow's show or are we going to put it on social media? Probably on both. Uh, but yes, so anybody who purchases any of the kits, you're automatically entered into the prize drawer as well which is very exciting. So, shall we have a look at the skirt pattern and the kits? We're gonna obviously dive into the more depth with Fiona. We'll start with the black one first, which is the one that Fiona's gonna demo. Um, now, inside the pattern, they're so beautifully presented. I will go through them in depth with Fiona, but you get loads and loads and loads in there. Everything that you need to make the beautiful skirt, which I must say, this is a different fabric, and you saw it um, there on, on Fiona. It's got a beautiful elasticated waistband, which after lockdown, oh my word, that is exactly the skirt I need. But with this fabric, how beautiful is it going to look as well? See, that is so smart, yet so, so comfortable, isn't it? So you're getting two metres of the fabric, which is enough to make the largest size. This starts, this pattern starts at a size 8 up to a size 20. So you can make the largest size from that fabric. So if you're not making the largest size, you're going to have plenty of fabric to play around with. Also got pockets. It's just lovely. Love it. And actually, I'll talk to Fiona about this in a moment, but I know that she's fantastic 
um, with her technical side. I wonder whether this is just over the last few months. You know when we've all been forced to get very technical. I know that she does a lot of blogs and things anyway, but you're going to be able to do some hacks with the pattern as well, which is exciting. So that's for the pattern and two metres of fabric, £44.99. So... I'll just do it with this one and then we'll whiz through the others and get Fiona on. But in the pattern, you get your instructions, which are beautiful instructions. Those of you that are brand new, you can see that it's extremely clear. It's not like those paper patterns that you pick up, um, you know, old school patterns where it just says, insert dart here and do this here and you're thinking hang on I'm not quite sure how to do it she's really really explained it very very clearly there's your sizing chart as well and all of your pattern pieces which is on lovely luxury thick paper so you can make it time and time again I think this is a pattern that you will make a lot of actually because different fabrics it's going to look completely different and then also in here how lovely is this you've got your elastic and your little haberdashery bits. I'm opening it up. Do you mind? Oh, I love it. It's like a little sweetie bag, isn't it? So in here, you've got your interfacing and your elastic. How good is that? So everything that you need is in there. £44.99, your haberdashery, your fabric and your pattern, all for just £44.99. Right, so that is option one. That's called, is it called Roses Sicily? Country Roses. Um, obviously, this is the Sicily skirt. Um, we've also got the st striped palm tree option. I'm going to put these over here and I'll put them away in a second. So once again, remember, you get everything that's in the bag, all of your pattern, your instructions, your elastic, your interfacing. Oh, I tell you what, this, it is a heavier weight fabric. It is going to give you a more structured skirt. So if you want something more floaty floaty, go with the black. If you want a more, I see, I'm thinking this would look so nice with a white shirt, wouldn't it? White shirt. Oh, it's amazing. So that, again, you're getting two meters of fabric. Plus your pattern. Do you know, I'm also thinking if you've got loads of fabric at home that you're thinking, oh, I've got a leopard fabric similar to this one that you want to make the skirt out of and you want to keep this to make some bags or to do whatever you want with definitely make the most of it because you do get the pattern plus the fabric I know that um, a lot of people Paul thinking of all sorts of projects the only way of getting this fabric is in the bundle and don't forget anybody who is checking out you're automatically entered into the prize draw as well everything that you saw in the last packet is included as well in this one that's lovely Remember size eight to size 20. And it is a beginner's pattern. It's aimed for beginners, which is exciting. So now loads of people have been getting into dressmaking. Then the final one. Oh, this is lovely. Summer sky. Oh, and that's gonna look gorgeous as well, isn't it? Once again, I'm thinking just quite a casual white t-shirt is just gonna dress it up dramatically. Um, and having, you know, the pleats option or having, you know, the elasticated waistband, it's going to be so, so comfortable. If you, we're now getting to the point of going for picnics or going out for dinner with, you know, friends or family, going and visit relatives. It's really nice that you feel ever so comfy. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric and it's ever so soft. It seems versatile, actually, that you can play around with different fabrics. It's going to work with lots of different styles of fabric. Okay, so everybody check out of your baskets now because we're about to get Fiona on. Don't forget, you're also going to be in with a chance of getting any of the panels as well for anybody who checks out. So for anybody who hasn't yet shopped with us before, this is how you do it. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. 
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, doesn't this feel lovely? That with Fiona, how are you? I'm really well, Vicky. Oh, and good. It's so lovely to see you. Oh, it's so yeah. lovely to yes. see you. And it's you. lovely to be here at Sewing Street again. Oh, it's brilliant yeah. to have you back. And with beautiful patterns as always, oh, I know you. how much everybody loves your patterns. And lovely fabrics as well that you've got to go with it, which always makes a big difference, I think. They're, they're all sort of quite different, actually. This mm. one um, is, is quite lightweight. It's, it's going to be quite floppy, isn't skirt, it? Skirt, yes, very floaty. And you need something with a bit of drape. So that's really perfect for that. The blue as well is going to be gorgeous. And the blue, uh, well, all of them are just yeah. gorgeous. Um, but like you say, this one is a little bit weighty. So actually, I would say, you know, even though it's a very summery looking, it's quite good for winter as well. Absolutely, it? yeah. And if you want to wear one in winter, you can always pop on a pair of, um, you know, tights, I put I put yeah. in some um, pedal pushers underneath or, or leggings. Yeah. Or thick tights. Yeah, and, You know, you can wear it right through tights. right through winter, I'd say. Absolutely. So. And it's, it's a beginner's pattern, isn't it? So for anybody who yeah. is getting into dressmaking, I know say, you say you've been yeah. ever so busy over the last few really months, busy. haven't you? Yes, yes. I think people have really taken to sewing, haven't they? Because... We just have the sewing bee at the same time as lockdown. So I think it was a sort of combination yeah. that just meant, you know, people were really getting into it. So which is great. A lot know. of people have been asking actually this morning, asking mm. about this pattern in particular and saying, right, as a beginner, from a beginner's point of view, looking at mm. a pattern and reading your instructions, how do I go yes. about it? And I think you're the perfect person, actually, to do a show like this with because your instructions I, are so clear. Well, I do teach a lot of beginners. Yeah. So, in fact, I have a Make Your Mother Proud workshop, which oh. I'm afraid has kind of gone by the wayside during lockdown. Uh, and I really miss all my beginners. So, um, but yes, I suppose because uh, I just I just love getting people into sewing. So yeah. I just think that if you've got a pattern that it gives you confidence mm -hmm. and I do get a lot of uh, messages from people saying this pattern has really given me lots of confidence and I want to make it again and again. And, and, and I'm on to my fifth one now, you Brilliant. know, that kind of thing, which is just fantastic. Oh, well, it's you know. so comfortable, isn't it? So and versatile. it's relaxed and it's very, very comfortable. And I started by making one for myself and yeah. I just lived in it. I, did, I never took it off. I yeah. mean, it just literally a whole month. And then my husband got sick of looking and wearing <laughs> it. And, um, and then I sort of thought, well, what if I just put some fabric in a bag and yeah. put, you know, some bits and bobs with it just to make life really easy for So people. you put the elastic stick in there yes. and you put your interfacing and your yes and well. you love my little felt crow I did because the, attention to detail well, the, the reason I thought we good to do in a bag is because when you've made your you know you cut out your pieces because what I do normally is I cut my pieces at one evening or one day one session and then I put them to the side and then the next session I go and get out and get do the sewing bit because yeah. I think it's like a very different sort of head that you need yeah. so I thought, well, if you put all your pieces in here, you don't lose any bits and bobs. Or if you've got any bits left over yeah. and all you've got your, all your pattern pieces, you can fold them up, put them in here and you can hang it on a peg. So it just makes it really practical. Good so idea. It's just an extension of the way I sort of work myself. And um, But yeah, if anyone wants a bit of information about, um, you know, dress me, I mean, dressmaking I would say this is although this is a beginner I'd say if you've done a bit of sewing already mm -hmm. like you know yeah. about things like like seam allowance mm -hmm. and things like that finishing edges raw edges yeah. um, doing a back stitch that's kind of like what you need yeah. really before you sort of like take something like yeah. this on um, but uh, you know, if you look at the sizes on the back, you've got like a sort of um, size chart here. So, you know, you just really sort of measure your own. It's, it's only your waist, really, that you need because the hips is so full. You don't oh, need. And also because it's elasticated at the back, it's got that room for sort of, Give. you know, so I should imagine Lockdown this gears. goes up to a 22, really. Fantastic. So, you know, I mean, I've done it up to a 20 because, um, you know, it's because I was working a lot with 112 width or 115 yeah. width. 
and that was the maximum I could get yeah. out of the width of the fabric. So, but you know, I mean, there's, it'd be quite easy to size this up if you've got a little bit of nonce, you know, you can sort of easily just add a, you know, uh, sort of one and a half centimetres either side and then you In can fact, sort there's of, loads of scope of different ways exactly, of doing this pattern as well, isn't Exactly, there? and I what, I what I want to do is to, on the blog, because each of my patterns has got its own blog post, and so it's to add feed in like little additions. So if you want to so put a border on the bottom or if you want to put a placket with some buttons on the front, yeah. you know, I'm just going to sort of feed into it. So it just keeps people interested in, in oh, doing brilliant. new things with it, you know, because it's like a, a really versatile pattern. I mean, this is the sort of basic, you know, it's a very, very simple skirt. And I just thought, well, you know, it's got room for scope then, hasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, I love that. So really, really what you need to do is to sort of determine what your measurements are yeah. and which size is corresponds to yours uh, first of all and also just sort of measure what uh, you know the length so you've got the finished length here on the back so if I hold it there, there's probably a camera Probably you better. need to bring it quite away. Over. Yeah, so you you've got the finished uh, length there so you know you really want to sort of like work out because um, I have here we go there. So I have um, been contacted by people who said oh you know I, I wanted it shorter I, I didn't want it quite so long. So if you can see, you know, what length it is there, then you can sort of, see, you know, mm -hmm. measure it against yourself or a skirt that you've already got and just check where you... But you can go shorter, you can go longer, you know, it's, really, it's really not sort of a problem. And, and then here you've got your cutting guide as well. So it tells you uh, what, how many pieces of each you need to... Now your front piece is cut on the fold of the fabric and it just means that you're laying out your pattern piece mm -hmm. against the fold of the fabric on one side and then you're cutting around it so that when you open it up your fold line is right in the center so that's just something it just says cut one on the fold of the fabric so that's what that one means and then you're, you're doing the same with the waistband back and then the waistband front is just one piece so it's really got it doesn't have too many pieces on this um, and then you've got um, You've got two side pockets as well, so you can... Oh, I love that. You've added a You can pocket. do a bit of swaggering. <laughs> oh, we always love a pocket, don't we? Brilliant. I do really love to have these yeah. deep side pockets and the nice big ones as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, it, and because it's got the pleats on the front, mm -hmm. um, it's actually quite flattering. Yeah. So I think a lot of people feel that if you've got elastic all the way round, mm -hmm. it can make you look quite bulky. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't need that. No, after not lockdown, after lockdown. No, you? exactly. So, you know, that's the what I like. I like the sort shape. of flattering front, but then, you know, the back gives you the room for sort of being able to eat exactly what you like, basically. So perfect. <laughs> So, yeah, so here you have the two lay plans as well, which one, um, so if, if I mean, I think all of our fabrics here are 140 plus yeah, wide. They are. So I think, you know, you just sort of stick to the 140 wide lay plan. But if afterwards you want to make it in a, a narrow width, you've got a different lay plan. So you're just laying out the pieces just slightly differently. So on here, you're folding the fabric. So you've got just enough for the skirt but then your pockets here are sort of laid one up, one down on, on, the, other, on the single layer of fabric. But mm -hmm. of course, if you wanted to, you could fold up that section of fabric and just cut two at a time or, four, or even four at a time, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's, that's quite straightforward. Um, and then at the side here, it just it tells you a little bit about... Um, a bit of information about it, where, where you locate the blog, because on the blog I've got little film tutorials about how, particularly how to do the, the waistband bit, which I think is the bit where oh, people find good. that a little bit tricky. So I do, I do get a lot of people that say to me, oh, that, you know, that, that film really helped. And I'm hoping to sort of do it on the show yeah, as well. Yeah, I was going to say, today. so not only will you and have I'll today's link, I'll link this programme as well to oh, the blog. Right. And then, you know, people can sort of like, you know, chop and change whatever they want to see. So, and then here it just tells you the amount of fabric you need and what the seam allowance is. And then there's a little bit down there about where, where you find the tutorial, the film tutorial. Fab. And you can see that it's sort of very, very straightforward. And you've also got all the photos on the blog as well in big size. So if you wanted to see these, you know, even bigger, then you, you know, you can see it on there. So Great. Nice and visual then. Really that's clear right. Really instructions. Yeah. So if I just pop that there for now. So what I thought of doing is showing you, first of all, how to do the, the pleat. Lovely. Now, um, the very first thing you do is to actually pop 
the pockets in. So before you do the pleats, I mean, you could do it after if you wanted to, but it is you pop the, um, the if I just move that over there. So you're, like, you're laying on one pocket piece at the side mm -hmm. here. And it's, so it's the right sides together. And then it's um, laying so that the curved bit is, is coming downwards like so. I can and see then, you've finished your edges already on the overlocker. Now, if I, I don't have, have an overlocker, can I zigzag or? Zigzag the edge, yeah. yes. Um, I would, um, you know, with the pockets, I've zigzagged it or overlocked it beforehand. But what you can always zigzag it after you've sewn it together. Okay. And often if you've got a zigzag stitch and you've got fabric with a bit of movement, it's better to have two layers because otherwise it can sort of chew the fabric up a bit. So if you um, if you do it after you've sewn it together, that's absolutely fine. And just a little tip, if you've got fabric like this, that has got a little bit of movement. I think I said it on the last show. I don't know if you know, if you watched that show, but it, um, what I do is put, um, I've got this piece of upholstery fabric, which is, a very horrible colour and I know I'm not going to use it but basically I use it as a, an under cloth so I lay that out on the table and oh, then I good. lay my fabric on top and it's just enough to sort of keep the fabric from moving oh, that's so if tip. you put it look you see it's got a lot of movement on mm -hmm. the table but on the mat here it hasn't so it's a good or, or a piece or even a duvet cover is really good right. to just lay on the table lay your pieces on and you know then it stops that movement um Right, so you've got you've put your pocket piece on like so, and then you just literally sew. Now the sew, seam allowance is one centimetre on here. Now one centimetre, it's very easy, I think, particularly when you're doing curved seams, because you can literally bank the side of the foot up to the edge of the fabric. Oh. So as you're sewing, you're just sort of like lining up the side edge, and easy. that's why I use it. And I think with something <laughs> like this, which is really sort of like loose fitting, I think you know sometimes yeah. that's what you need. So. Um, so you've sewn a seam at the side here and then you press it outwards and now what you want to do is to have your seam uh, going towards your pocket. So when you press it out, make sure the seam underneath is facing outwards towards the pocket and give it a little press and then now I'm not going to do it today because I'll miss out this bit just so that I can whiz forward but then your top stitch all the way down here. Right, does that so, mean that your pocket won't start poking out? It will stay in? Yeah, almost. it just keeps it from sort of billowing yeah. at that seam there. And top stitch, there's a little uh, tutorial here about top stitching. And it's basically where you uh, sew a, a line of stitching um, about three millimetres away from the seam edge. So, you know, you're just literally sewing another another line of stitching. Or uh, so I really like that line. you've also said how to do that because I mean we know yes. how you do it but also there's a lot of people when you start it sounds yes. like such jargon that you think I don't know how to top stitch exactly. when it just says in a yes. pattern now top stitch around the, yes. the pocket you wouldn't know what, yes, what to do. Yes that's right. Some people like to lengthen their stitch when they do top stitching okay. and I think particularly if your stitching is going to be seen mm -hmm. and it's going to be quite a distinctive line of stitching it's always quite nice to lengthen it just so it looks like um, you know a little bit yeah. more uh, obvious but with here you don't really need to do that because you're not really seeing it too much and I'm just going to get my other <laughs> specs on <laughs> anyway um now when it comes to the pleats bit now I've already folded my pleats at the top here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo one of the pleats and then redo it and then you can see so you lay if you lay your edge at the top of the fabric. Now you might want to, if you've got an overlock, you could sort of see, um, finish your raw edge at the, front, at the top there beforehand. Um, and when you, um, and it does say this in the pattern, but when you lay, when you cut out your fabric pieces, you, you've got some markers at the top, which are your pleats positions. And you just literally, now if with fabric like this, you can't, if you mark it, you're not you going to see, see it. it. So yeah. I put either a pin in or I, I'll notch the seam, but just be careful not to notch too much. Into the seam. You know, just a little doing, tiny yeah. nick is all you need. So have and you done that on there? Just a yes, little... yes. I've just put a little uh, notch here that you can see. Just about that to see That one probably yeah. done a little bit. So basically you've got one notch that's in the middle of the pleat and you've got the other notch which is either side. And you, you literally, so there's one there, there's two and there's there's three and then so your center one you're literally taking your um, notched section there and you're folding it over so you've got the right sides facing you and then you're laying it on top like so 
so that your notches meet. So you've got one right. notch meeting the other, and then you just pin that to hold it. And I like to put two pins, one on each side of the pleat so that it holds it underneath. And then you do the same on the other side, but going inwards. So one's going that way, and then the other one's going that way. So you literally fold, and there's a little diagram here. I show you here. And that shows you how to do the pleat. That shows you the, 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 the sequence. And then you fold it over, and then you pleat. So you've got basically two, and this is just on the front. So we're only doing these pleats on the front. We're not doing them on the back. We're leaving the black plain mm -hmm. because that's been gathered in by yeah. the lovely elastic. So you can see that I've got one pleat there, two pleats there, and one and two, and they're equally, there's two either side of the center. Okay. Right. Now, so what we do now is we're just going to stay stitch. Now, what that means is just a line of stitching to hold those um, pleats in place so that well, I can they take stay them. there. So they stay. <laughs> so it does what it says on the tin. Is that within and the seam allowance? So it's within the seam allowance and it's like a sort of, it's like a tacking stitch really. So, But you haven't altered your stitch length? No, no, just, um, just a line of stitching which is just going to, within the seam allowance and it's just going to hold those pleats in place. I really like pleats because they're sort of quite flattering. Aren't yeah. They? You know, that just means that you can um, have the fullness in the skirt without the bulk at the, seat, at the waistband. Which and I even think. though you, you, I mean, I know that you're saying, right, this is aimed at beginners, you still feel that you're learning techniques, dressmaking techniques. Exactly. So when yes. somebody sees you wearing it, you can feel so proud that it doesn't look like, you know, you've just. Whacked a bit of fabric around you. Exactly. It's actually still it's actually, got yeah, all yeah, of those it's got, a, it's got some techniques Structure. in. Yeah, so on this skirt, you're learning how to put a pleat in, you're learning how to put a pocket in, yeah. to put a waistband in, put elastic, some hemming. You've got the you tie, know, you just, loads. Yeah, and you've got the tie and you've got the tie belt and everything. So, and, and now you see that's, that stay stitching has, has held my pleat. So I can, I can remove my pins now because they will just get in the way otherwise. So. There we go, so we, off they come. Now it would be quite nice if I had something to put these Sorry. on. I'll get my pin cushion in a minute. Right, so we've got the pockets at the side um, and we've also put the pockets on the sides of the back piece as well, just in exactly the same way as the front. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is, here's one I made earlier, is we're going to put the front and the back together. So we're going to pin it at the sides. So I think the good idea to just pin at the very top, you know, don't, don't start pinning from the top downwards, but pin, you know, at sections so that then you can make sure that everything's matching up. Right, you so know, then when the pocket meets. So yeah. when the pocket meets, you can put a pin in there, you know, forget the pocket for a minute and just, Come back to it and then pin in here. So, you know, this is this skirt you can make in cotton, you can make in linen, you can make in viscose. What else? Well, you've done it in the African wax fabric, African haven't wax, you? yeah. I Which mean, because I, I think. I think a skirt is like a sort of piece of art, really, yeah. isn't it? It's like a sort of, um, you know, it, it's great for bold prints. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you know, Because yeah. you can mix it with... Um, well, you can wear quite a plain top and really dress your outfit up. Yeah, you, and you can sort of, te you can kind of like have, have fun matching up the top with yeah. your skirt, can't you? Yeah, and it's, you know, by changing the top, you sort of like got a different look then, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, That's I love this it. style. I'm not surprised that so many people say to you, I've made it five times. And I think yeah. this is what a lot of people will ask you about and say, oh, where'd you get that? Or especially yeah. you can find some really amazing fabrics. You've well, seen yeah. so many. And I mean, this skirt, it has to be said, it's all about the fabric really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, um, you know, because it is quite simple, but it's, um, it's all about what you make it in. That's why I think this one in particular, the one that you're working with actually, it can still look so smart, even yes. if wearing it to work or wearing it for an occasion, right. it's still 
just even if you were to wear in the winter with a black polar neck top, it's going to look amazing. It That's doesn't right. need to scream summer, summer, I'm in a skirt. Yeah. Still be, um... There you go, stick those in there, that will do. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to sew down that side um, seam and I'll be a while. <laughs> And then, you know, just remember to sort of do a little black stitch at um, the beginning and end of your seam. And, you know, what I do is sort of like slightly, you know, kind of keep it quite tall as you're going. I mean, remember, you can always hand tack things. You know, if you don't like to... Um, with your pleats, you could always just hand tack those on, but I mean, it's just as quick to mm -hmm. do it on the machine, mm -hmm. isn't it? So when you get to the pocket, are you stopping or are you gonna go all the way around the pocket as well? So what I'm going to do is when I get to the pocket, I'm going to, I need to do a one centimetre seam when I go around the pocket. So I just literally continue on a little bit and I drop the needle down. So I'm literally one centimetre beyond the seam of the pocket or the edge of the pocket. And then I, with my needle down, swivel round and then you can just carry on round. And then just, you know, I would maybe have pinned this a little bit more. Yeah, at home you can spend a bit more time pinning. Yeah. But it is your pocket, isn't it? Anyway, I suppose it's not. This is standy up sewing again. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to get it stuck underneath. You lost your foot. There we go. So again, when you get to the when you get just the other side of the pocket, just carry on till you get to the bits uh, to the seam line of the pocket. Drop your needles down at there and then just swivel it round so that your your side of your foot is already at the side of the edge. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the top, you can just do a little back bit. And we haven't got a cutter on this one, no. no. Okay, so and off we come. So there's your side seam. And then you should already start to see it looking like a skirt. Like a skirt, <laughs> yes, amazingly. It's quite a nice, quick dressmaking project, yes, isn't it? it like is. you said, if you spend the one evening maybe yes. just having a good read of the pattern and cutting it out, that's and right. getting yourself a bit organised. Yes. Yeah, read it through and just get a bit more get, bit of confidence. And now, can you see there, the, the seam's a little bit puckered. So, what I like to do is to just iron it that way first before you open the seam out. Make your glasses all steamy. <laughs> I need up. window cleaners, don't I? Windscreen wipers. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, now you can you can you can zigzag your seam together there if you wanted to. So obviously I've done mine beforehand, but you finish your edge all the way round the pocket and then up and and up to the top edge. Mm -hmm. So. Now what I'll do is I, I I think just to save time I might not do all the way down just pin that because I'll need that joined at the top edge so I'll just pin that there and sew it down a little bit. How are we doing for time? About 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay because I just want to get to the waistband bit. <clears throat> We're all good. The graphics are in, by the way, for the one that Fiona is demonstrating with, which is your roses, country roses. Um, like we say, if you're thinking of, of wanting more floaty skirt, the country roses or the sky one, the blue, is best. Don't get me wrong, I still the, the, the heavyweight one will work, won't it? But it will be more structured. It will be a more um It's still got a lot of drape, yes. Yeah. It's just a bit more weighty, that's all. I mean, it's nice to have a bit of weight. Yeah, I love that print. There's yeah. so many people have said they love that. Yeah. I think these are, that might be even a new print. I've never seen that one before. 
Well, yeah, it reminds me of sort of palm, palm, you know, sort of Kew yeah. Gardens slightly, isn't it? Right, there we go. So, so you're just doing the other side in exactly the same way as before. And let's just move that up a bit. It's just gone a bit. Do you find it strange, Fiona, your alarm going off at this unearthly hour again? <laughs> <laughs> what time were you at this morning? You travelled down well, up this morning, for you. Well, actually, we had a we had a night we had a day in Stratford yesterday. Oh, lovely. Yes, it was lovely. The old hubby and I. So. Um, Yes, we love my son looking after the cat and Oh off Madame he went. Maybelline, oh, I can I just say if you don't know if Vienna's yes. cat's called Madame Maybelline. Yes. She's getting on a bit now. Oh. But she's still lovely. Still she's still like sitting at heart, really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's glorious in in um, Stratford's just in, just on the road, isn't it? Yeah. It's really lovely there. I think the last time I went there was when I was on um like a school trip oh, when I was really? about ten. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of funny. And apparently my mum said that um, her dad, um, my dad, her, her husband, obviously, yeah. um, took her courting there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so it's like going back. And were they, mar where are they from? Um, well, they're from the Midlands. Oh, so okay. they're from Wolverhampton oh, yeah. originally, yes. But they live down in the south now. And how's the beach where you are? Hello, Mum and Dad, by the way. Oh, They're probably hello. watching. So I don't have my beach heart shop anymore. Oh, do you so, not? No, no. It's, it all came to an end, so that was a shame. They're still going down there, but I just I just got so busy, really. Yeah. So I do miss it, because it was lovely. My Margot, the beach hut makery. But so, suppose if you, are you getting um, into all of the technology, doing different, you, have you done any of the Zoom? Um, well, they did ask me um, where I do workshops if I would do a, work, a Zoom workshop, but I just couldn't see how that was going to work. <laughs> I couldn't get my head around that really. So, and I've just been so busy, and I I got so excited about all the new things I could design, and oh good. So I've sort of focused on that really. Um, but and then being part so into... industry as well, it's busy, 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 isn't it? The last month. Perhaps. Yes. So, um, but we've been getting into it with the family, you know, with um, face, not FaceTime. Is it Zoom? FaceTime? That sort of thing. All the same. Yeah. But we've been doing lots of quizzes and things. All of us have been oh, doing quizzes. Oh, quite pub every quizzes. Week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Virtual quizzes. Yeah, yeah, they've been good. Are you any good at quizzes there? Um, I feel like I've got a lot better, but it has yes. to be certain rounds. Of, oh, if it's like a science or a... Oh, yeah, the sewing one, I came first out of everybody on... Uh, well, I'm not was, surprised, really. Well, there was Hayley, there was everybody in the... Uh, uh, Hannah was there. Yeah. So, yeah, I am claiming that. <laughs> there you are. So we've got, like, a sort of tube. Brilliant. Yeah, so, again, you know, just press that. Flat, oh, what I was going to ask you, two metres of fabric, you have plenty there, don't you, to make the largest size as well? Yes, I mean, you know, uh, you've got more than you need, really. Brilliant. So, because um, normally it's 1.8 that you need for um, oh. a skirt of that. Um, but, you know, obviously we go up to... She's gone down to the cellar. <laughs> Coming back up again. <laughs> Get my scissors. Um, Yes, so you've got enough if you wanted to, to sort of like, you know, make some purses or something. Oh, or, lovely. You know. Now, um, let's just pop that to one side now because I'm going to get my pieces out for my waistband back down the cellar again. <laughs> and here we are. This so is you have my... all your pattern pieces in your instructions yes, for your waistband. That's right. And there are instructions about how to, oh, let's just mention ties and tabs and things. Um, there we are, they're in here. Right, so I've just done a couple of tabs beforehand. Here we go. This is what they look like. In fact, I've got three. You can do as many tabs as you like, really. But I've just thought, well, one at each side, maybe. Or you could have two at the front and mm -hmm. two at the back. It's up to you. But um, this is not in the pattern, but this is on the blog. So this is like a little add-on. And I just thought I'd show you here how it's done. So uh, basically what you're doing is you're cutting a five centimetre by, I don't know what the measurements are, I think it's about 15 centimetres. It's in the pattern. And yeah, and then you um, fold it 
uh, fold one centimeter in each side and then fold, press it and then fold it over again and then sew it down the sides here and you've got like, and then you cut it in half and you've got like a little tab. So it's very, very simple. It's like a little sort of tie. And then now you want to pin it so that obviously it's going to come up like that. So what you do is you pin it face down. So if you've got a, you know, like this one, Oh, none They're of them. Both but, but anyway, if you've got one, if you've that, you got one that sort of, you know, the print's you better, yes, have yeah. that face down. And then just pin it. I'm just going to put mine at the side seam here, but, you know, you can you know, choose what you want. And then uh, face down on the other side and then pin it in place like that. And then we're just going to tack that on so that it holds it. And again, within the seam within the seam allowance, just a little line of stitching. I mean, again, you could just, you could do this by hand if you wanted, but if you've got the machine up, you might as well just run it along on the machine. <clears throat> got 15 minutes with you, Fiona. Okay, right, so across we go. It's lovely that you're doing these panels, competition as well. Thank you for that. Yes, we, we hand screen, well, my husband's a hand screen printer and we did a lot of, in fact, we're going to go back and do a, li a lot more of that. Oh, brilliant. Um, ha hand screen print special special fabrics lovely. that you can use for small projects like bags and, and, and yeah. so we might do some of those for Christmas, but. Um, oh, exciting. Yes, we've brought some samples with us, so we'll see whether or not they're of interest. But um, yeah, so that would be really exciting because, um, it's, it's kind of like how, well, I, I started with a screen printed doll kit that we did. Yeah. And um, I, I keep talking about it. I should bring her in, really. <laughs> um, and uh, so it, it, it was just it was just a kind of an extension of that, really. So we, don't, we did quite a few different things. So we'll, I'll bring in some. Yeah. Anyway, so there we have it. We've got our side tabs in if you want them. Uh, you you know don't have to have them and um, what did I do with my waistband it's under here somewhere there we are let me just get that over now the with the waistband you have a piece for the front so there's your front piece I've just joined it at the sides just to save a bit of time mm -hmm. and your back bit your back piece which is much much longer can you see now the front piece is has been interfaced with your interfacing that you're getting in your pack so you iron that on and I think it's a good idea to iron it on and then cut out your piece if your fabric's got a little bit of movement but right. it, you know either way is fine and you can see that I have joined so with the right sides together I have joined the back waistband to the front right. and I've sewn down the sides so I'm that's on one side and then I'm going to do the same on the other now uh, I have actually folded and pressed this beforehand but you you know just to save time but uh, once you've sewn it in at the side seam you can then fold it over but it's up to you you can do it before or after um, I just done I've just done it just to save time today now um, so again now we're going to now just try and keep within your seam allowances because everything's got you know things have got to match up mm -hmm. so obviously the back waistband and the front waistband they're meeting at the side edges so you want it you want to make sure so don't do a massive seam at the side seam because these have got to fit together now we're going to do you know if you do the one centimeter seam allowance you should you should be correct then you should be fine and uh, we're sewing together at the side edges. I haven't done that very well, but there you go. <laughs> Tally sewing, we can't sew this one. <laughs> That's because Is I've run out of bobbin. Oh no! <laughs> I thought it looked a bit thin. Um, shall I, what, have we got another bat bobbin wound up already? Or, um, uh, hang on, I've probably got something one. in my bag here. Let's have a look. Sorry. Yeah, I've got a black actually, so we just have a bit of black on my Oh, well done. Thank you. There we are. Just pop that in. Might be a slightly different thread, but we'll hope. Okay, oh, so. Thank you. Right. True pro. <laughs> 
Right, so I'll just finish off that bit there. That's it. And then afterwards, you get your side seam and we're going to... Now, I was going to say you can, you can uh, uh, iron that open, but actually we're going to put in the elastic. So uh, let's Is it get... the front there or is it in your bag? Sorry. So I'll get a piece of elastic out of here. And it's nice then, thick elastic as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, nice it's nice wide. and wide, yes. And that's why, oh, and also, I don't know if your ones have a little barrette in it, but maybe not. Okay. Did, you, did they have them? Um, sure. I didn't see one. Um, right, so you should have uh, the, the measurements on your pattern, which correspond to your size for the elastic. So in the cutting guide on the back here, you've got your elastic cutting measurements for your size. So I'm doing size 16, I think this one is this, so I'm going to measure 37 centimetres. So it's there. So I cut my piece, like so. And then I will literally stitch it into the back seam. Now, the best thing to do is to line it up with the top, so you've got to fold, yes, because that's what you want to do. Fold over and press yeah. all the way round. And then when you open it up, you want to lay your um, elastic just up below the folded, the fold line at the centre. Okay. So there's your fold line and you line up your elastic at the side. And then you pin it in. And pin it in there. So don't twist it or anything, just make sure that it's the right side facing up. So, and then it, you pin it in at the side seam there, and then you sew it in. Now what you're doing is you're literally sewing on top of the seam that you've just sewn. Let's just get that pin out of the way. There we are. So we just, you know, do the back seam. You know, you might want to do a few, go back over yeah, that yeah. several times just to make it really secure. But, you know, it should hold it even just with one line of stitching. And then open up the other side. Yeah, you no. don't want your elastic pinging off, do you, after you've had your Sunday <laughs> roast? Give it a few rows of stitching. That's all right. <laughs> Now I'm just going to check that I haven't twisted that round. Yep, no, I'm fine there, I think. No, I'm not. I've sewn it on the wrong side, haven't I? Have you done one on the top, one top to the bottom? Top and one on the bottom. <laughs> Have I done that? So that I've sewn it on that side. And... Yeah, so I'll just move it over. There we go. We're all good. Yeah, so you want to sew it on the right on the same side. I'm with you. So if you sew it on the lower lower edge of the right side, you want it on the lower edge of the um, left side. Right. So you can see that your elastic is much shorter mm -hmm. than your waistband, isn't it? Now, what we're going to do is pin our waistband together all the way round. And you're sandwiching in your elastic as you go, like so. Now, the key is, is never to sew as you're sewing your seam, not to sew your elastic. So you want to keep your elastic well and truly banked up to right. the fold. And you've got quite a 
quite well, a good stop room. it from being able to stretch. Yes, stretch because if you sew the elastic, it's it's not going to be f have a free movement. Now you can see there, I'm sort of getting running out of elastic. So what you can do is just pull it. Can you see what I mean? And then yeah. that gathers up the bottom bit, and then I pin it together here. Now, what you could do, if you wanted to, is to just tuck it on the machine. I might do that now, just to... I haven't got any pins in there, have I? No. So, fold it over, and then I can just literally tack it all the way around, quite close to the edge. But you could pin it, and then sew if you wanted to. When you say tacking it, so it's just a line of, of, of stitching. Yeah. Quite close to the edge. Yeah, not going through your elastic. No, not, not sewing through your elastic. And I'm just literally sewing it together. You're within... not pulling on the elastic at all. You're just literally sewing Not yet, fabric. so because I'm just literally matching up my raw edges. And then when I run out of elastic, I just pull it a little bit so I get right. more. And then meet, match up my raw edges and then carry on sewing. Now, some people quite like to cover up. This is where your raw edges are exposed and you zigzag them at the edge, at the end. But if you wanted to, you could just sew your waistband on one side, fold over the hem, fold over the other raw edge one centimetre, and then you just literally encase your raw edges in at the end. Right, okay. But this is like a sort of really easy way, but it does mean that your raw edges... Uh, you'll, well, they'll be finished, but they'll be sort of, they'll be, you know, yeah. seen. But that's on the inside of the skirt anyway, It's on the inside it? of yeah. the skirt, yeah. So again, you see I'm getting a bit short on elastic, so I'm pulling it. And always keep your, your needle down as you pull it through. So you just pull it. and then carry on sewing. And this is the part that you say there's also, when you buy the pattern, there's access to the blog, which is all, all so done. So this, this, this part here, there's a little tutorial about Fantastic. how to do this bit. Because I know that our cameras um, struggle to get as close as we'd like to in the studio. Right. Wait till we're in our new all singing, all dancing studio. Yeah, no, Very I soon. Keep, I keep um, racing But that. yeah, I know. Very excited, I've got five fancy cameras. Five? Yeah. Wow. We've got a green screen. Green? We've got a live kitchen set. We've got everything. Kitchen? Sorry. Yeah. Why are you doing cooking, are you? Um, well, if we do like kitchen makes and things, we can do it from oh, the kitchen. Oh, right. Wow. Forward to that. So when's that happening? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say. I'm not going to put. I should put um, a, a date to it, shouldn't I? And then I'll be like, "Come on, Neil." Uh, it isn't. It isn't up to Neil. It's to do with all of the tele broadcasting from different building. All I don't know the technical things, but it is more technical than just a smooth thing. Yes. So you can see that you know when I run out of elastic, I just pull the elastic and right. just shift it from back to front, and it's very easy. And if you've got your needle down, you're not going to lose your place or anything. And then match up your raw edges, and and then when you get to the side, you just your front um, your front waistband. You just literally. It's all flat, isn't it? So you can just stitch around it. Oh, lovely, yes, because that hasn't got any elastic in. And I'm literally sewing about a quarter of an inch away from, or five millimetres away from the edge, because it's within the seam allowance. You know, right. this, this is just almost like a sort of holding, just holds that waistband together. I've literally got a couple of minutes left with you, Fiona. Okay. There we are. You see, there's your waistband oh, all lovely. ready to go in. Nicely gathered at the nice. back, but flat at the front. Amazing. And so what you do is you get your the top of your skirt and you match your... So if you put the right sides together, 
match up your side seams with your side seams on your it's under there isn't it waistband to skirt yes waistband to skirt right sides together and side seams pin those in first either side and if you're you know if, you, if the gathers get in the way just move them out of the way like so and then Pin in the front bit first, just keep your pleats flat, like so. <laughs> and it should all match up. There we go. Now, at this stage, you might like to just hand tack it round. Right. I would say that that's quite a good idea, particularly if you're a beginner, to hand tack it as you go. Okay. And um, there we go. And then with the back, Let's take that through there like that. That's it. And then with the back section, we've run out of time to pin it all, but we right. can just imagine. So and so we... you're pinning. So you pin it all the way around the back section. Yeah. Tack, hand tack it in, and mm -hmm. then sew it on just like you did before. Zigzag the edge, and then iron it up, and then. Just top stitch it round. Amazing. And then that's that's all on. It's all yeah. ever so clear in the instructions. Very very clear in the pattern. And the uh, the waistband's my favourite part of it. I yeah. love it. And then obviously you can add your tie if you so want to or that's not. It. But you say that's on the blog as well. And the it? tabs, you just literally fold them up and then you just literally stitch them down at the top edge. So they're already hanging down here, and you just fold them up and stitch them on. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Fiona. Uh, we'll welcome. see you again with the kimono and, back for a kimono. and bag That's as well. Right. So anybody, yes. even if you're not dressmaking, stay with us because we've got the bag as well. Thank you. Thank right. You. We're going to have a roundup of all of the kits. If you haven't yet checked out, this is how you buy. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. All bundles, very, 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 very popular indeed. Love the pattern, we love Fiona. She's an amazing teacher as well. So I think that sort of really reflects in when she's writing her patterns and instructions. Very, very clear. And obviously she's a dressmaker herself. She it started off making this skirt that she made it for herself. So I love the fact that all the attention to detail that goes into the packaging and the pattern itself. Even down to the fact that loads of us tend to cut out all of our fabric maybe the night before and get everything all prepped up, or not necessarily doing it all in one afternoon. But it comes in a nice little bag with a Velcro little tab on it as well. So you can keep that, all of your bits and bobs in there. When your pattern pieces are all cut out, you can keep them in there for when you're wanting to make it again. So the first bundle is the one, the, um, the, the Country Roses, which is beautiful. It's been the most popular of the hour. This is the one that uh, Fiona was demonstrating with, and it's gorgeous. You get two meters, which is plenty to make the largest size. Now, the largest size is a size 20. Remember, though, it does have an elasticated waist. So uh, Fiona said, do you know what? There is scope, actually, 
size 22 even she thinks it'd be able to go up to and with the fabric obviously um well you're looking at 1.8 meters for the largest size so we sell by the half meter two meters is more than enough fabric in your pattern we went through it earlier you get all of your instructions with great uh, very clear photographs as well and you also have um remember that blog the listing of how to get so the video tutorials and a blog which is constantly and updated of different additions to this pattern. So once you've bought the pattern, I absolutely know that this is not going to be a skirt that you just make the once. You will make it with so many different fabrics and it will look completely different, it will look gorgeous. You also have your amazing pattern paper which is really, really lovely and chunky. You've got loads of... Um, uh, you've got all of your sizes from 8 to 20. She's also put your haberdashery in here. So things that you need are interfacing. You don't need to buy interfacing. You've got enough for the waistband in the pack and your elastic. Tension to detail like that, I love. She thought of everything. £44.99. I'm excited for adventurous beginners to have a go at this. Brilliant, brilliant, mate. And just so comfy. I must say, I've got a couple of skirts at home like this and I would love to then take it to that next level and think right I can make this with any fabric the possibilities are endless okay so we've also got the blue beautiful fabric oh sorry this is lovely look at that this is your summer sky it's so pretty colors amazing that is going to look so beautiful just with a white vest top or uh, you know, a white shirt or blouse. It's going to look so beautiful. Forty-seven ninety-nine. You get two meters. Plenty of fabric, enough to be able to make the largest size, which is a size twenty. Elasticated waistband. You get your pattern instructions, elastic, uh, all of your interfacing, everything that you need in the Sew so Girl kit. And then the last option, heavier weight. So these have got all beautiful drapes. This is more lightweight cotton. Do you know what the composition of this last one is, Laura? Do you know what the composition of this last one is? Just because I, I can't explain to you. It's not a cotton canvas, but it feels heavier. It's still got lovely drape to it, but it is going to be a heavier skirt. It's lovely though, isn't it? Those prints are amazing. Um, the stripe runs vertically. 55% linen and 55% viscose. So yeah, the linen, but also then giving you great structure. So I love that. I think I've got it upside down with the trees, but so you would have to think a bit more about potentially the placement of it, but look at how amazing that is. Love it, love it, love it. And your pattern, all your instructions for 47 99 So anybody who has bought, you're automatically entered into the prize draw. If you're thinking, what prize draw are you on about? I want to be involved. Anybody who buys any of Fiona's patterns today, now whether it be the skirt, the kimono, the bag pattern that we've got later on at 11 o'clock, you're all automatically entered into the prize draw to win the panels, especially from Fiona. And you could make some lovely bunting like this. Or you could use them for patchwork, cushions or smaller projects, applique projects. Uh, so four winners will be announced tomorrow. She's doing four lovely giveaways for anyone who buys her patterns today. Right, coming up, we're going to do some colouring in. Our colour me in panels have been always very, very popular. They're back in stock. We've got fully loaded quantity, ready to go with an array of pens and some other bits and bobs as well. So we've our complementary fabric so do not go anywhere check out your baskets and we're back after this shopping with us couldn't be easier if you want to shop online then you can head to our website www.sewingstreet.com it will redirect you to our sister channel jewelry makers landing page don't worry you haven't gone to the wrong place we're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show you can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. 
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. A little birdie has told me something very exciting that I just have to share with you. So you may know that the early bird product often sells out each morning at eight o'clock. Our buyers have been working so hard to be able to bring you an early bird with enough stock so that everybody can take part and everybody can benefit from the huge saving. They've pulled out all the stops and tomorrow at eight o'clock, I'll be bringing you our biggest ever early bird. It's a fabulous product. It's at the most amazing price, it's brand new, it's useful, and it's a must have for all sewers. Set your alarms and join me at eight o'clock tomorrow for our biggest ever early bird. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Um, so tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, I can't tell you what it is, I'm under, lips are sealed, I'm under strict instruction that I can't tell you, and I'm desperate to tell you, I'm so bad at keeping a secret, so, um, oh, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, and, um, yeah, we've got a lot available in stock, so, uh, fingers crossed, everybody all day is gonna be able to get involved in them, which is something we never normally be able to say. Speaking of which, how's our early bird doing today? 
Oh, gone. Yeah, see what I mean? Like normally, we we get to talk about it all day. It's a little addition, but this one sold out. So for anybody that's missed today's Ellibird, if you are a bit of a late riser and you're just turning the telly on, maybe you've just got home or you've been and doing some jobs this morning, whatever you do, cancel your plans in the morning tomorrow and be there at eight o'clock. It's going to be amazing. I promise you it's going to be awesome. So this hour, we're going to be talking about some gorgeous, gorgeous panels. Now, I love the fact that everyone's getting really adventurous with these and thinking of different ways of using them in sewing. Um, now, which one do you want to start with, Laura? Let's go with the rainbow, because this has been the most popular from day dot. I say that, these have literally only just launched. But every single time, obviously, they're, they're printed, they're exclusive for us. So every time that they, uh, they get printed, we have to update the, the quantity or constantly. We have to keep trying to order more um, as they're obviously very, very popular indeed. Now, I don't know whether it was this one or whether it was th this rainbow. I think it was that one, actually. Uh, I saw on the Facebook fan page, actually one of the, one of the makes of the week um, and they coloured it all in and then cut it out and appliqued it onto a denim jacket and it looked, the back of a denim jacket looked amazing. Please, 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 will you send your photographs in if you've used any of these Colour Me In panels on any of your projects? We would love this hour to show them on air. So if you've used them, get a quick picture on your phone, ping it across to studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com, and we will show it on air. So on this panel, what I love is that I'm imagining, you know, for not just for children, for, for adults as well. Obviously, over the last few months, what has been keeping us going is seeing lovely rainbows in the windows everywhere. It's just so nice to be able to have these projects, maybe as you could do little um, labels on them as our your lockdown project, and you could have them as placemats, or you can have them um, on tote bags. Maybe you know somebody who's worked all through the lockdown uh, during the pandemic, but maybe if somebody works for the NHS or is a key worker, these would be lovely gifts. And you're not just getting one. You're not just getting two. So you've got these two rainbows. You've then also got this extra panel as well. This would be so fun. What about a bit of a competition between like two siblings, brother and sister or something? And uh, Well, everyone in the family could all sit and do a nice little project. I know a lot of people who have been homeschooling for months and months now. I was talking to uh, my friend and she's got three children and she's saying, right, I need activities. I've been doing these activities for the last four months now. I need some new ones. So these are going to be ideal for, for all ages, aren't they? And especially if you're thinking, you know, some of the, the pens that we've got today or, right, thinking outside the box now, what about colouring it in with thread? So what about hand stitching? What about doing some embroidery stitches? You could do some like French knots. You could add beautiful texture to these. You don't need to see this just as a colouring in project. You could cut part of this and use it on cards, couldn't you? Greetings cards or, I mean, this is gorgeous. This literally like sort of sums up, doesn't it? The, the weather at the moment, it's like, hang on, is it stormy today? Is it sunshine today? Is it both? Is it cloudy? Honestly, it was like everything yesterday, wasn't it? It was crazy. I've seen the most beautiful, beautiful sun sunsets though. You know, the, the red sky at night, shepherd's delight. The red sky in the morning, shepherd's pie. <laughs> I love that ball. Right, so this one is only £6.99. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant panel to just get a bit creative with. You know our Joe, who's a director here, He's got one of the um, things on his tablet where it's a colour me in thing. I always find it very th therapeutic. There's a lot of adult colour colouring books, isn't it? Not adult colouring books, but I find it. <laughs> I know you've got a few of them, Paul. Not those books. All right, full size. <laughs> no, right. Anyway, before I get that get that image out of my head. Um, no, these are brilliant, but quite mindful as well, isn't it? Just to sit and do a bit of colouring. Oh, with some glitter or metallic. I love it. You could then applique it onto a tote bag or what about the centre block of a quilt? You could use these, uh, multi-bind them and you can use them as blocks on quilts. Because it is on cotton, remember? It is on your fabric, so these are lovely. What about like a reading cushion? 
You could do a front of a reading cushion, couldn't you? I like how bold the lines are as well. Even I'm going to be able to colour in, in, in between the lines. <laughs> which is, um, oh, hang on, hang on, I'm putting pressure on myself now, aren't I? Right, so let's, I'll show you the other panels and then we'll, we'll go on to the pens. So I so say that one's exclusive to us. Remember, all of these are exclusive to us. I've seen similar projects out there. Um, I nearly bought one for my goddaughter a couple of, um, a couple of Christmases ago and it was an apron that you colour me in and it had like four pens with it, an apron and um, I can't remember the price of it, but it was nowhere near the prices that we're doing. I think it's about £20 or something, or about £15. If you do see similar things, I think you'll be shocked at our prices. Right, under the sea. Paul has never seen The Little Mermaid. Oh, my word. Right, look at this. So, first of all, let me show you just there so you can see how much you're getting. It's massive. Paul, you're going to love this. Have you seen it? Look, you've got jellyfish, you've got your octopus, you've got your starfish, you've got your big whale. Where's the... Oh, look! The sea lion! Look at the crab as well. I think this is my favourite, the turtle. The turtle, the seahorse. See, I think this is going to be brilliant as like a wall hanging or you could use it even. Oh, the dolphin going over the shell. Oh my word, that's obviously to scale, isn't it? <laughs> you've got the anchor, you've got the whale, you've got the lovely shells and the lovely fishies. What's the fish called? This one, puffer fish. What's this one called? Um, is it like a clownfish? Oh, message in if you've, if you've done any of these yet, if you've used any of these, a starfish. They're all amazing. But I am thinking now, certainly for applique, if you're cutting out your dolphin, this could be on like a, a real simple white T-shirt with a pocket on that you could just put that onto it. I love it. And, and you could personalise it. Some of the pens that we've got, of course, you can then personalise as well. Keep your pictures coming in. I want to see if you've used any of these Colour Me In panels um, on any of your projects. What about doing like um, odour coating things? So once obviously you've, you've coloured it in, you could odour coat it and use it for like a lunch bag or a school bag or you could use it with your Thermaland for like, a, you know, a lunch bag, as I say, to keep it nice and cool. Or quite educational as well, just as a play mat. You could colour it in and then have it almost like as um, outside, odour coat it. Oh, I love it, you could name them all. Right, what are we naming them all? Terry, the turtle. Stephen, the sea lion. Ollie, the octopus. Craig, why are they all men? Paul's giving me all these names. Daphne, the dolphin. Fiona the fish, Wanda the whale. Oh, I love them all. Shelley the shell, Michelle, Michelle. <laughs> Five pound ninety nine. That's such a Peter K joke, isn't it? But this, I absolutely love. All of the coral. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to have a, a, a closer look at this again in a minute because I'm going to do some colouring in. <gasps> oh, we've had a picture come in. Who's it from, Laura? Hi Eileen, oh thank you so much for your picture. Go on. She's made this for her grandson. He asked for the panel so he could colour the teddy in. He takes it to bed every night. Oh, I'm so excited, let's have a look. Oh, this is brilliant. Do you know what, I hadn't even thought that you could do that. That is so good. So she gave it to her grandson plain. He's coloured it in just from the panel and then she's made the toy out of it. That is such a good idea. And that's completely colour fast now as, as well. If you're using any of the, uh, the, the pens that we've got today, you can do what beautiful like memory bears. They're so lovely, aren't they? Oh, I really like that. Oh, thank you ever so much for sending that in. Thank you very, very much. Please get your photographs in. It gives us brilliant inspiration because I hadn't thought of doing that. Right, let's have a look at the In the, in the Woods. Oh, this is so lovely as well. Look, you've got 
Look, you've got the bear, the honey bear, and you've got a, what's this, Bambi, um, deer. <laughs> Badger, a fox, the, uh, I love the, uh, the little squirrel. And look at the, the owl. A owl. Look, a, a owl. <laughs> <laughs> and the bee with the beehive, the lovely little mushroom, the ladybird. Oh, look. They're all so cute. See, he's got such a lovely little smile. And I like the mushroom. You know, when you see little fairy um, doors, you could almost embroider a little fairy, couldn't you, on there? So you could do some beautiful French knots, you could do some like lazy daisies in your flowers. You've got your acorn, even your acorns are really happy. <laughs> your caterpillar is smiling. Where? This bear, this bear. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him, he's so happy. What are these called? I remember these, where you used to throw them. Helicopters. Helicopters. This is lovely, isn't it? And I do love the deer with her. Um, is it a deer? With uh, the flowers in her hair. It's exclusive to us, by the way. And you've got a really good, solid line on all of these. So, I mean, I, it goes on and on and on and on. It's off the desk. That's just a, a fraction of the panel. It's, it is then repeated. So you get so many. You've got a hair on this. Look at the hair. Doe, a deer, a female deer. They're lovely, aren't they? All the leaves. Because you could make this quite autumnal, couldn't you? You could do a beautiful, beautiful um, bag with panel on the front. It would look gorgeous. $5.99 and exclusive to us. How is that only $5.99? I have no idea. I have no idea how that's $5.99. So absolutely make the most of that whilst you can. Okay. Just so you know, we've got some bundles on the pens and we are going to offer them individually, but the bundles, you get a saving. You do get a saving on the bundles. So we're going to start with the medium. So we've got the, the thicker nibs, the fine nibs, and we've got the medium. So the mediums, these ones are, um, did you say pastels, Laura? Yeah, these ones. Classic colours and your pastels. Now the pastels have almost got a bit of a, um, I want to say like a, a, a pearlescence to them as well. So your classics, these are your, your um, these are your medium sized nibs, they're 4.5 millimetres. Now, you can use these, yes, on fabric, but as you can see, you can use them on so much. You can use them on glass. So if you've got any jars, um, if you've got, if you want to upcycle some, like jam jars, or if you want to, uh, maybe a vase, or if you want to personalise things, like, look, I mean, they've got a helmet here. I know they've got on other ones, they've got things like in musical instruments, cushions, uh, lampshades, t-shirts, mugs. You could decorate just, you know, you can get really, really cheaply from those shops where you sell everything for a pound. You could buy a mug, couldn't you, or an old mug that you've got in the cupboard and decorate it. That'd be a nice summer holiday project. And in here, let's have a look at your colours. Now, these are ones that you just need to leave for a good sort of 24 hours and then it will be colour fast. So you can do your colouring. You don't need to iron it. You can just colour it. So um, let me uh, grab. Have we got the ones that have already been... Let me grab one that's already started to be coloured in so you can see the colours. I'm going to get the Into the Woods panel. Now what I would suggest is that if you're using these colours, use something underneath, put something underneath just to make sure that it's not going to bleed through. Um, the classic colours are great, aren't they? I'm thinking for big banners as well. You know, if you get to do like a happy birthday banner or, or something like that, it would be brilliant, a bit of bunting. So... What you'll need to do when you first get these, I've already done these um, before, but give it a really, 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 really good shake. And then dab it. So just dab it a few times like that, and then it will start to come through. But, oh no, don't, because you'll see my um, my colouring. There's your yellow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at explaining the lines. Um, You've got black, which is brilliant if you do want to do some bubble writing, maybe with some big banners. Your red, 
Where shall I colour my red? I'm going to do some little spots in a my mushroom. It's a lovely colour though, but remember, these are going to uh, be completely colour fast, so then you can whack it in the wash. Well, I don't know what colour mushrooms normally are. I think you can do whatever you want, can't you? I think it's I think it's my own project and I could do whatever I want, I think, Paul. He's, he's already telling me. Give it a good shake. If it does start to sort of dry up again, just give it a good shake. It doesn't matter if you go over the lines. You could just colour it in as you want. Look, I'm just going to go for it. Just have fun with it. Just have fun. Nobody's there in your ear. No one will be there in your ear at home going, don't go over the lines. There's your blue. Also, I only need to dot that a little bit. These are probably, um, you can get the, the smaller nibs as well. So, you've then also got your pastels. Now, what I love about these, oh, You've got almost, like, as I say, like a bit of a pearl essence to them. They're lovely. So you get loads of colours to choose from. These are really, really girly indeed. So I'm just going to go in between here so you can see these colours. You've got the green. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Instead of me doing smaller bits, I'm best to just go in between here. <laughs> so you can see the colours. There's your green. Your pink. <gasps> when somebody else sees this, can you see that pink? That's lovely, isn't it? You've also got your yellow. They're quite, um, let's go honey pot. That is a lovely blue, isn't it? See what I mean about it having a little bit of a pearlescent sheen to it? That looks really nice, doesn't it? So that's your blue. And then the white, you're not probably going to be able to see on here. But if you're doing things, I don't know whether in your town, where my mum lives, they've got all of these rocks. It's called Henley Rocks and they're all everywhere and it's brilliant. And it's going to show up on things like this. So if you're colouring in rocks, this is going to be ideal for things like that. Or if you're doing it on gla glass or if you've got caps or bags and things. Um, they're the metallic ones, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is the white which has got a little bit of a, a pearly sheen to it. So this is what I made earlier. My fantastic artwork. Can you believe it? <laughs> I've got a fine art degree. I haven't at all. Our oh, Hannah's fantastic at drawing. The purple's lovely as well, look. That purple is like a gorgeous lavender, like Tilda purple, isn't it? These colours are very Tilda-esque, actually. That's lovely, isn't it? And then you also have your yellow, which I'm going to put it next to the bright, just so you can see the difference. So you've got, that one's like your real bright one. This is more of like um, a, a pastel-y one, but it's still lovely and bright, look. I think everyone's going to have so much fun with these. It's going to go a long way as well. So that's your bundle and you're saving five pounds. So we are going to do them individually, but absolutely, if you do want a nice choice of colour, then for £38.98, it's going to go a really, really long way. So if you just want the pastels, these ones on their own, they're £21.99. You get your yellow, your purple, blue, that lovely turquoisey, oh, I love that one, mint green. It's like an aqua -y sea foam blue it's beautiful feet sorry for the under the um it's because i'm left-handed these are always the problems i get left-handed um the uh white and you also get your pink all six of them for 21.99 so then also the bold colors on their own these are more of you like your classics aren't they green Tell you what, this keeps me quiet. Let's give the bear a rosy red cheek. He's had too much honey. He's all flustered. So with this one, you get the black, yellow, blue, green, and red. So your nice primary colours. <laughs> 
great fun, isn't it? It is brilliant. And the white as well. They're, these are all of your medium sized nibs. We do have thicker nibs. Um, and we also have finer nibs, but these are great medium ones. You're going to be able to do most of your colouring in with all of these. £21.99 for a pack of six. So you may as well go for the bundle. Get £5 saving. Absolutely. So let's do another bundle with another saving. Is this again your medium? So the same size nib we've got in these two. Now we've got metallic colours, which are the ones that I coloured my um, stone in. You can see the gold and the silver's got that lovely metallic sheen to it. In there you've also got, because sometimes it's hard to see until it dries completely, the metallic effect, but you can see on the, on the lid how lovely they're gonna look. That pink is gorgeous. That's like um, a, a rose, beautiful, dusty rose. You sing in Country Road. But that's lovely, isn't it? So that's your rose. Your purple. Exactly the same as I said with the other one. Um, you do need to give it a real good shake and nib it. Where, where do you want me to do purple leaf? I'm trying to do a larger shape so you can see the colours clearer. There's your purple flower. And remember, this is going to be metallic. When it dries, you'll see that metallic sort of sheen on it more. And you'll need to leave it for about, I think it recommends about 24 hours. Um, it says if the, the ink flow weakens, repeat, giving it a good shake and a dab. And it will um, sort of bring it back. Gold, these are going to be lovely for pr Christmas projects. Right, go on, let's go for it. Do you want a gold bear? Whoever gets this next is going to say, oh my word, who's coloured this in? This was Paul and Laura's idea. For a lovely gold bear. Right, okay. Am I colouring this all in? Yeah. You're going to just watch me for the next five minutes concentrating very hard about colouring in this gold bear. But I do... Just bear with me. Hey! This is going to be great for Christmas projects though, isn't it? Having the gold metallic colours. No, it will, it will, as I say, look on the... Um, on the rock, you can see that it's it's got that lovely metallic sheen to it. You need to wait. Oh, you need to wait for it to dry to be able to get that that sort of metallic sheen. Um, you've also then got the silver silver bear. <laughs> and you also have these um, little paws. Uh, your green, oh that's a nice green isn't it, see this, let me show you next to that one so you can see the difference, that's going to dry beautifully, that's your metallic bundle, just giving it a bit of background as well, you've got all this white fabric that you can then do um, background with as well. You're blue and pink. If you just tuned in, welcome to Colouring In with me. I am awful at colouring as well. Right, you get all six of them. And then you also get six of these. Now, these haven't been opened, so... Oh, well, they ha well it says they have. It's got a sticker on them, but they haven't been opened. Do you want me to show you... Well, it's got a sample sticker on it. It's got a, a sticker saying it's one of ours. Do you want me to show you how much you need to shake it when you get it home? Because I was thinking, they're just not going to work. But you do have to give it a real good shake. So, it will come like this with a white nib on the top. You need to get the, the painter flowing to the right to the end of the nib. So, bear with. I'm just going to keep shaking this for a while. So, you've got on this one, your purple, you've got pink green, black and blue with your orange. Oh, I'm thinking fox. Fox, all oh, my acorns. Where are my acorns? So, then what you'll need to do, just on a piece of paper, just give it a bit of a dab and you'll start to see the paint sort of coming to the end of the nib. I can see it's coming. I'll give it a little bit more of a shake. This is what I mean. You do have to keep shaking it a bit longer than you thought. Once you've done this once, then they'll just work. 
Um, if your ink flow starts to slow down, then just do this again. But can you see that the that at the start when you first open the packet, you just need to give it a bit of a bit of teasing onto the end, and then it will. I'm telling you, it, everything's always slowed down. But just keep giving it a rub. There we go. There we go. So you can see now we've got a lovely. Sorry, do you need me to move over? Stock warning, we are down to single figures on both bundles, on this bundle and on the, the last bundle. Both bundles that we've shown so far, we're down to single figures. That is a vibrant fox. In fact, this is perfect for your autumnal one. I actually would go for this colorway for the autumnal um, into the woods block, into the woods panel because you've got your green in there, your purples, you've got some beautiful colours that are going to be perfect for all of these. But look straight away at how striking that is. Look at how bold that is. And look, if you do go over the lines and you think, oh, I really want those to be more prominent, you've got a black here, remember? So you can always sort of go over those black lines again and make them more prominent. Or have the... Um, the extra fine ones as well. We have got those, so you can go around the outlines again. <laughs> Anyone who's tuning in going, oh, just look at that gold bear. It's great, doesn't he? That's very realistic. Have you not seen the gold bear before? So, that orange is lovely and vibrant, isn't it? But remember, with this one, this is, again, still your medium nib, so you can get some... Good surface area covered quite quickly, can't you? Because I um, sometimes am quite impatient. So if you have got larger, larger pictures that you want to colour in, that would look great. So you've got your orange, you've got your black, blue, green, pink and purple. Remember, just give them all a real good shape before. It's a saving of £5. I've not seen these bundles before. Remember, you're getting the metallic ones as well for that price. £38.99. pence. Just leave it to dry. Leave it to dry and then you can do whatever you want with them, whether you put it in the wash, whether you odour coat them for placemats or sew them into tote bags, then treat it like your normal cotton fabric. So, the ones in my hands, these ones, again, look, what about getting an old pair of trainers? Decorate a pair of trainers. These are great projects for children, aren't they? Things like mugs that you could decorate like your 2020 lockdown summer holidays mug. That'd be brilliant. The nice little quote on or uh, personalised. What about for um, bride and groom? Do you know somebody that's um, getting married? You could do like a pair of uh, trainers. With a wedding date, because um, I saw that and I didn't, I didn't do it in the end for my wedding last year. But I saw it, it was in London and they were charging a fortune. They had the plain trainers, and don't get me wrong, the person who was very, very arty was really good at it. But if you're good at drawing, good at art, um, well, I suppose you could use even some of these, and you could applique them onto different things, couldn't you? But they put Mr. and Mrs. and the date, and they had lovely artwork. You could do some great things on trainers for weddings. Yeah, good idea. But remember, so uh, this isn't the, we'll do these ones next, but look, it works across the board. Whether you want to use it, what about a phone case? I've just noticed on here, they're giving you different examples of what you can do with it. On your own phone case, you can design your own. Get an old um, lampshade that you were gonna throw out or something, or cushion covers. So, these ones are your metallic. With your metallic, you're getting your gold and silver. Lovely for Christmas. Guitar or violin or something. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, Paul's saying, imagine if you knew, if you met somebody famous and they signed your guitar and then it was just there forever. Oh, whips out your packet of pens. Saying that, that's what Mike Earring does. He does have a denim jacket that he keeps um, a pen inside for when he meets famous people. It doesn't happen very often, but it's there when he, when he does. At the moment, he's got Nick Skelton, who is an Olympic gold medalist um, horse rider. I don't know what he does, show jumper. Tony Christie, I thought that was a good one. And then there was Amber Riley, who was in Glee, and she's also um, in Dreamgirls. So that's where we saw her. But what a cool thing, yeah. You could have this is like your autograph one. It's gonna you have to leave it for 24 hours and then it will dry. <laughs> K 
Kieran won't be watching right now because he's at work, but I'm just going to watch the, I'm going to make him watch this back. Paul's just said, I thought you were cool, Kieran. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my word. Right, so there you metallic, pack of six. Let's go extra fine because we're thinking of doing smaller pieces. Uh, on a lot of you colour me in panels, I'm going to swap to the under the sea one, I think. Look, this is what I mean. Be careful with what you're going under because some of them are, um, they are paints really, aren't they? So just be aware, it, it probably will leave a few marks underneath. So put an old mat or something underneath. Oh, let's see what's been done over here. I think I, no, I don't think I did do this. I was thinking I did. Check the lines. I think I did the stars. Let's go for the extra fine. Now we've got a bundle in pastel and we've got um, the bundle in classics as well. Now these again are exactly the same colours as what we saw before, but they are um, an extra fine nib. I don't need to get these ones out, do I? These ones haven't been opened. Do you want me to open one? None of these are open. I'll show it in the other extra fine nibs, just so you can see. Oh, is there, are there any extra fines? Yeah, there are. These aren't open either. Um, oh yeah, they have got stickers. Let me see if there's got stickers on here. No. Right, brilliant. Let me show you just on one of these, um, the, the, the size of the nib. But just remember that they're different colours. So there you go. So they're like lovely little pens. You're going to be able to do some great fine detail with these, aren't you? Saving of £5. So you've got in the pastel, you're getting the white, the pink, the purple, the, the purple, the green, the yellow and the blue. And they're the same colours that I did on the woodland panel that you saw earlier on, all those lovely pastel colours. And the same again with your classic. So you've got those primary colours, which are going to be great for your under the sea. You've got red, yellow, green, blue, white and black. The different projects, so much that you're going to be able to use these for. Individually, we've got the pastels. Pastels, we've got in your extra fine nib on their own. Remember, you're getting the bundles with a saving, but if you do just want to maybe dip your toe in the water, way, then you could um, just get a packet. These are such pretty colours. I think they're um, my favourites, actually. Doing notebooks and journals, photo frames. You could do T-shirts. Doesn't just stop at the colour me in panels. Loads that you're going to be able to do with those. £19.99. And then also your classics. You get red, yellow, green, blue, black and white. Oh, I'm excited to see what you do with them. Please send in your photographs. We saw a brilliant one um, where a lady had given her grandson one of the rainbow panels and he coloured it in and then she made it into a teddy bear for him. It was brilliant. It was so lovely. So please send all your photos in what you've done with yours. So we've got one other bundle of extra fine which comes with your metallic and then your creative. Now remember when you get it home, you will need to just like engage the tip. Shake it, shake it up, shake it up. What other shake songs are there? Shaking all over, shaking all over. What song is that? Polo picture, shake it, shake, shake it. Yep, so we've got to keep doing that. And then, yeah, we've got to keep going. Another shake me song. Shaking up, baby. Yeah, that's a good one. There we go. Sorry, yeah, we need to stop because otherwise we'll have to pay all the royalties. Okay, these are lovely. These again are your metallics. I'm going to your fish. Can you see me up here or not? Sorry, I can move. I just thought, oh, I like these lovely metallics. I think, oh, do you know what? The smaller tip suits me better. I'm getting into all of these nice little nooks and crannies, like the little scales, really easily. Look at how happy that crab is. These are your metallic colours. So, we're doing another bundle right now where you're getting all of your extra fine tips in all of your metallic colours. You've got gold, silver, pink purple and blue, plus then you're also getting what we call creative colours. So you've got orange, green, pink, blue, 
purple and black. And these are the same size nibs as the one that you're seeing here. They're lovely. Which is the one that you coloured in? Oh, Hayley. Hayley, yeah, this is the one you coloured in. I think I coloured in the uh, starfish because they, they, they're not in the lines. <laughs> Do you like my starfish in the pastels? They're pastels, but... This bundle, remember, you're getting a saving of five pounds. I'm gonna do another one. What color shall I go for? Pink, green, orange, blue, purple, or black? Let's go, we've got the purple there, we've got orange there. I'm gonna go for green, we've got lots of blue. So remember, just twist the top off, shake it all over. I love that seahorse, remember, sorry, not seahorse, sea lion. All of the um, panels are available still. They're exclusive to us. They're literally just come back into stock. You in the mood to colour in now, everybody? Laura wants to do, um, she's like, right, my afternoon's sorted. Come on down. Come on down. I will uh, keep shaking. Nearly there. £34.98. And remember, you're getting all 12. I know, gosh, I'm doing my uh, sewing fitness, aren't I? What is it? That can be a mother DVD. Oh, these are lovely. Look at that. <gasps> That's a really nice colour. Oh, I'm thinking of doing some of the... Um... Oh, yeah, let's do what the star. Where's the star that you can see? Here. But because of that extra fine tip, this is where you're really going to be able to get into the detail. Don't get me wrong, you can get exactly the same colour still in the, um, the larger nib. So you could use the larger one to just get all of your colours going and then you could use this one. You know like when you're painting and you need to cut in first, don't you? You need to cut in first with a special brush or with a bit more care. What are you thinking? Just to leave a little white gap. Oh, with a little shine, I see. Like this. Right, so then individually, these ones, the creative colours, the creative colours we've got available individually. There you go, little shine. No, I'm going to colour that in, it's annoying me. You don't know why you did it. <laughs> So, your creative colours, individually, remember you can get them in the bundle with a saving of £5 or individually, your green, orange, pink, blue, purple and black, perfect for you under the ocean. These are your extra fine nibs, £19.99. Honestly, we thought that this hour we'd be... Um, Pushed for t we thought that we would, we'd have loads of things to do and it's already nine minutes left and then your metallics you're getting gold silver pink purple green and blue all individually six of your extra fine nibs also i just want to show you for anybody who's maybe got this and wants to do like a back of a cushion or a lining or something just to remind you if you've bought anything it's very very busy today are you ready for chaos I know that we have this all the time on the web, but whenever we bring it on, it's always very popular. It is half meter of white for 349. If you just want to freehand and doodle, just do your own thing, absolutely go for it. If you've got, you know, uh, something in mind that you're thinking, you can make a t-shirt and then you could color it in. You could do all sorts with it. So this is going to be ideal to work with your pens. And for all of your stash, everybody needs white in there. You've got three for three pound 49, half a meter loads of fabric for that price point. Also, some of the solid colours. Oh, I wish that I could, um, I don't want to get my pens on it. Right, so, some of the colours that we're going with Tilda last in the in the um, eight o'clock hour, we've actually bought forward, because I'm thinking, sorry, bought over to this hour, because we thought, how about if you want to do some colouring in on any of these, let's do for Misty Blue because I spoke about this a lot with Tilda. It's such a beautiful colour. It reminds me of fancy kitchens. I don't know why. It's like a sage, gorgeous, misty blue. £3.49 a half metre. The colour in me in. Oh, Hayley was saying how relaxing it is watching me colour in. I know, they've just said that in the gallery to me, um, Hayley. 
She is quite mindful, isn't it? 349 and a half meter, that's misty blue. We've also got your um, peach. Half a meter of peach, now's the time to buy by the half meter. This would be nice with the under the sea one, actually, because if you're using them as a, black, a, a, a background, you could applique onto them. What about with uh, coral or starfish or seahorse or jellyfish? 349 and a half meter, you could use as a background or linings. Beautiful quality. I know that I'm saying a lot of, you know, backgrounds and linings, but you could use this as the, the front of quilts or dresses or all sorts. The blue, Copen. And then we've got a few more neutrals. Copen blue. Oh, yes, for your under the sea, absolutely. 349.5 meter, it's going to mean that your projects are going to go even further, you could applique them on and make your own C underneath. Because don't get me wrong, you can colour the white in, but if you've just got half a metre of this, you could start creating your own picture almost, couldn't you? Colour them all in and then stick them where you want and do it as a wall hanging or a placemat or something. Uh, I love that. Go on, to uh, Paul's got an idea. Velcro them on and do like a play mat or it could be like quite a sensory sort of thing. Good idea. Put different sounds in them. This one's beige, so these are always good to just have. Like when we had the uh, the Osnaberg on earlier on, if you are doing toys, this would be lovely to go in with your toys as well, wouldn't it? Um, if you want to do um, backgrounds or to go with your Tilda, to mix in with lots of your fabrics, in fact, it's always going to go. All of these are available on the website. We've got a huge array of, of, of cotton fabrics. Just type in 100% cotton on, on the website, but it's always nice during the live show to just remind you of that because if you've opened your order, maybe you bought the early bird, it's now sold out. Wait for tomorrow, it's going to be good. The cream, it's always good to just be able to remind you that once you've checked out of your basket, you can still order as much as you want with still only paying that one poster and packaging. So if you bought something, you might as well just add maybe half a metre or a metre of some of these solids in. Just mean all of your lovely designer fabrics will go further. Finally, tan oh i know i think i've to be fair paul just said i need a tan i was going to say me too but i think i've honestly got the best tan i've ever had in the uk this year i have done some sunbathing over the last few months of you i've done it safe absolutely factor 50 have you seen the color of my hair i'm a um, natural warm fair <laughs> I've got fair hair. I do tan well for a, a fair, a fair haired girl. Three forty nine and a half metre. And that is your tan. Very nice. Right. Also, those of you that like to maybe if you see a picture in a book and, you know, we said about making your own um, sort, sort of doing your own uh, patterns and doing your own colour me and ideas as well. What I love about these is that if you have got one of the panels, let me show you. I'm my best to show you like this. So this is your light box, by the way. I'm going for this. Is this a smaller one first? So this is the A4 one. So it's really lovely and portable. It plugs in with a USB and it's got three different brightnesses. So one, two, three, depending on how bright you want it. It's also got the measuring gauge on it. It's lovely and lightweight. And obviously because it's LED, um, it's not going to get hot. And it's not an overwhelming, like, piercing bright light. It's just, um, a, a, it's, it's really nice. It's not glass either, so don't worry about putting it in the, in the post. How am I doing this? Right, so, if I've got this, and then you're obviously, if you want to trace it onto, I don't know, like your um, pattern paper or your freezer paper or anything else, you then put, obviously, your paper over the top. The amount of times that I've tried to transfer a pattern on my window, and I've got, like, a window that's got all of the... Lots of us have, haven't we, with the little um, crisscross on them. I can't think what they're called. Um, so it's always bumpy and lumpy. So just to have it sitting nice and flush and flat. If I have it on the brightest setting, one, two, three, there you go. There's a brightest setting. So Paul's dimmed it down just so you can see how much brighter that's made it. I haven't got like a piece of paper or something that I want to, I wanted to just show you how... Clearly, if you are doing any transferring, how clearly how clear it makes it. But you get the idea. So that's the smaller size. We also have 
the A3. Now, I'm not going to get this one out just because it's huge. Oh, actually, do you know what I could? If you're doing larger designs, if you're doing larger designs, then this is ideal. It's still lovely and lightweight. It's still very portable and nice and flat so you can store it away. It also comes, again, with a plug and your USB. It literally just slots into the side. It's got that touch-sensitive button, so you can then do all three different brightnesses. For £64.99, it's going to be brilliant to transfer your patterns and templates nice and easily. Okay. Yesterday, Laura bought you the most incredible, with Debbie, the most incredible variegated threads. Now, what I'm thinking is, the reason that I want to show you them today is I mentioned earlier on, how about getting one of getting one of the panels and using these gorgeous variegated threads or any of the solid threads to actually sort of embroider with them. Now, these, by the way, are your 70 weight. When you see this, the yellow spool, they're 70 weight. So these are absolutely perfect for top stitching. You heard Fiona talking about top stitching, uh, lengthening your stitch slightly if you want it to really, really stand out. These are going to be amazing for top stitching on bags, for decorative things on straps, for beautiful um, cushions, uh, just uh, embellishing on cushions, for jars. As I say, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty of your 70 weight, so you get slightly less on this. Is it 70 meters? Yeah, you get 70 meters on each. Love the variegated, and they are, just remember, heavier weight. So normally when we're talking about our sewals, they're 50 weight. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily do all my piecing with this, but if you do want something to really stand out, oh, look at that. Variegated threads, for anyone who doesn't know, it has that like, ombre effect, so they seamlessly just ombre into the next color on one thread. So if you are doing something you want to stand out, maybe with your colour me in or top stitching in particular, they are brilliant. Oh, that's your favourite one. I remember. Um, uh, Laura likes the red ones as well. Right, so we've got some smaller packs. I've got NOZW19. Oh, gosh, this would be beautiful with your under the sea stuff, wouldn't it? You've got your greens and your blues. You've still got Paul's favourite in there. Don't let that put you off. And then, I like that you've got your classic colours in here. So if you're thinking of doing top stitching on um, lots of your bag projects and you want it to stand out, but not to the point of rainbow colours, they're going to be great. 78 for £22.99. Uh, are we going to do the other colours? Just quickly. Uh, this is BKZW40. One, two, three, four, five of your variegated, five of your normal. Oh, it's got the gold. So, you know when you see a pair of jeans? Mine aren't like classic, classic jeans. But you know what I mean? Like when you see that top stitching round. Oh, there you go. Top stitching round your jeans. You could do that with this thread here. Ideal. Uh, one last one. It is FQZW04. Anybody who missed yesterday's show? All variegated threads. Woo woo. They look so fancy. They look beautiful. Once again, they are your 70 weight. Check out your baskets on anything you've seen. It's been a brilliant, brilliant hour. Thank you for your input as well and all your messages. We've got Fiona Hesford back this hour with more patterns. Don't forget, stay tuned because you can get involved in the competition as well if you buy any of Fiona patterns today. And it's not just dressmakers this hour. We've got the most beautiful kimonos that you can see behind me and also the bag, backpack and satchel right after this. A little birdie has told me something very exciting that I just have to share with you. So you may know that the early bird product often sells out each morning at 8 o'clock. Our buyers have been working so hard to be able to bring you an early bird with enough stock so that everybody can take part and everybody can benefit from the huge saving. They've pulled out all the stops and tomorrow at 8 o'clock I'll be bringing you our biggest ever early bird. It's a fabulous product. It's at the most amazing price. It's brand new, it's useful, and it's a must have for all sewers. Set your alarms and join me at eight o'clock tomorrow for our biggest ever early bird.
Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Welcome back, welcome back. Right, we've got an hour to go and loads to do this hour. Fiona's going to be joining me and doing another beginner pattern. Now, I say beginner pattern. Um, it is suitable for, for beginners. Uh, as Fiona said at the last one, if you've done a bit of sewing before and you want to get it into dressmaking, then I think these patterns are, are, are fantastic for that. And also, you're learning great transferable skills. So the kimono that we're going to be looking at first, we're going to go onto the bag in a bit, um, but the kimono we're looking at first has got French seams as well. I mean, that's something that I normally think, oh gosh, that's like couture level, uh, couture level dressmaking. But actually, we're going to demystify it all for you today. So you have, there she is, rocking the kimono. And you know what I love about this, I was saying earlier on, is that at the moment, we're all over the shop with what weather is going on. The amount of times I have put my jumpers away and coats away and then thought, do you know what, is it chilly, is it? I don't know. So I think a kimono is a great thing to just chuck on, have it over a dress or have it over a little strappy top. Or, and 
I, I don't really like strappy tops, if I'm honest. I like to have my nice sleeves. So it's really flattering as well, isn't it? So this is your kimono pattern and it's from sizes eight to 28. So an amazing size range as well. It is packed full of great pattern paper, your instructions, uh, etc. So we'll go through that with Fiona. Now we're doing it separate to the, the fabrics because we said this earlier on with the skirt as well, it kind of makes it, doesn't it, the fabric? It makes it personal to you. So I know that this is gonna be a kimono that maybe at home you've got some fabric that you think, oh, that is gonna be perfect for this. Or have a look on the website because there's loads of gorgeous fabrics on there. Also, um, it has on the back on the website, sorry, on the second image on the website, on the description, you will also see all of the measurements. It's a real good habit to get into when you're starting dressmaking, to measure yourself because I think, it, we all, the reason probably a lot of us get into dressmaking is because the frustration of being lots of different sizes in different shops and things not fitting right. So it's good to, even through the, the Sew Girl patterns, to still measure yourself to see where you fit in that pattern because everyone is different. So £18.50 is fantastic for something I think you're going to make again and again and again. It's just loose fitting, very comfortable again, and um, and really fashionable, very on trend. We've got three fabrics which we think are absolutely perfect. Let's go for the sky blue one first. This is screaming sort of like, very similar actually to the one that you can see on the mannequin. It's perfect for the kimono. It's got such a beautiful holiday vibe to it. Um, this is two and a half meters that we've bundled up together. It's 39 pound 49 pence. It's so, so designer-esque, isn't it? That looks a fortune. I imagine this in the kimono, in a very, very expensive store. Oh, being even up into the hundreds, I'd say. There's a few very designer-esque boutique shops near where I live. And the kimonos like this are so expensive and they are so soft. It's so beautifully soft. Don't get me wrong. We're going to ask Fiona about different tips and tricks to be able to manage this fabric. If it is slightly slippier than fabrics than you, you used to, we'll be able to ask Fiona. Any questions you've got for her, get them in. Remember, two and a half metres is, of course, um, enough for the largest size, which is, just a reminder, size 28. So if you're making a smaller size, remember, you're also going to be able to... Um, you are going to be able to have fabric left over, which is always a treat, isn't it? Right, we've also got, should we do this one? Now, this is slightly heavier weight again. What's what's the composition of this one, Laura? Because this feels different. Um, it's, again, lovely. It's got a beautiful drape to it and lovely colour. This is more autumnal, I think. £39, 49 pence, two and a half metres. And it's that lovely mulberry colour, mulberry blooms. So you're getting two and a half meters, which is large enough for, which is enough fabric to make the largest size. 98% viscose, that's why it's 2% spandex. So it has got slight, very, very slight stretch to it. 39 pounds and 49 pence. And then the last one, I want to, sorry, hurry along these bundles, just because I know it's the last hour. So we're under strict instruction of where we've got to finish this hour. So I want to get Fiona on ASAP. This is the last option. <gasps> I think this is my favorite. I think this is my fave. That just is so silky, silky soft. And I love the pattern. That geometric print is perfect for the kimono. £39.49, pence. again, two and a half metres. It's so soft. It's a viscose. What I love about it is it's just not going to crease. Chuck it in your bag if you're going away for a weekend, maybe. Staycations. Exciting. £39.49. That's lovely. Right, so don't forget anybody who is buying any of Fiona's patterns uh, today, now whether it be the bag later on, whether it be the kimono or whether it be in the skirt, you're all of course entered into the prize draw which will be announced tomorrow. We'll tell you about that later on. Uh, so, shall we get Fiona on? This is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog, 
by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, Fiona. Hello. And the kimono. Oh, I think this is just a staple part of your wardrobe, isn't it? Yeah, it's such, such an easy wear, isn't it? And it's, and it's an easy make and an easy wear. And uh, you can make it in all sorts of fabrics as well. Because yeah. these, these viscoses are absolutely gorgeous. What other fabrics can we do it in, though? Well, I've brought along something else you could make it in. And that's like a woolen fabric. Because um, in the winter, I pop this on. And it's like a jacket. But it's kind of like a cardigan, too. So oh, it's yeah. exactly the same kimono. And I've just made a little few changes as well. Like a sort of, you know, I cut two bands and stitch them together and a slightly length in the sleeve. But, you know, you can you can play around with this pattern. It's just so versatile. Amazing. But um, we have made it in more structured fabrics and it just makes the, a much more of a jacket weight. Yeah. But, you know, when we've got weather like this, you want something cool. And this is the only thing that keeps you cool, really, isn't it? Absolutely. Something that's got a lot of waftiness, you know. That and... fabric is Stunning. I love this. Yeah, so I've partially made this one. So you can sort of get an idea of what it would look like. It's gorgeous. So if I put one arm through, you can see. So oh, yeah. Now, what's nice about this as well is that, I mean, this one is, is slightly not my size. It's a little bit smaller. But you can see that the sleeves are not full length. So yeah. it's not going to get into your washing up. <laughs> you can wash up in it. Um, <laughs> and it's, um, I originally made this as a sort of hip length uh -huh. um, kimono. So it was something that you could wear with, you know, trousers. trousers or, still. You know, and, and it would be sort of, you know, not too... Could we lengthen it, too, though? But you could... Well, well, this is what I want to say, because actually you've got a very large hem. Um, so this one here, you can see the hem on the bottom is sort of quite large. Yeah. And so if you turn up a smaller hem, then you can um, make it longer. Yeah. But also you can catch, you can just use any of the other size lengths. So if you're a size 10 and you want to use the size 28 length, you know, as long as you get the corresponding fabric, requirements then you can literally crib that length of um of the kimono brilliant you know the like the length line so you know you can go you can go quite long on this one fantastic um, now we want to try and get through as much as we can with you okay right uh, it says beginner suitable for beginners yes. i then saw the word french seam yes this yes this is exciting that we're learning real sort of <laughs> techniques as well yes i mean it's you know because if you if you're working with viscose or lightweight fabrics like that you know and you want to finish if you finish the edging you don't always want to see it on the inside now yeah. i have to say that i've got an overlock at home and so if i want to do a quick job i would just overlock the edge yeah um and there's and you know you can do that instead of doing a french seam but a french seam is lovely because if you if you don't have an overlocker it's a lovely way of enclosing those raw seams so mm -hmm. you can see here that all that all the raw seams are uh, they're sort of trapped inside Looks the seam. Lovely. And so I, must, it, I remember on Sewing Bee, Esme was very impressed yes. by when the contestants did a French seam. Yes, so that's, that's why right. I'm intrigued to know yes. how to do it. And you can make your French seams as small as you like, but obviously, you know, I think when you're a beginner, you want it to be manageable. So, you know, mm -hmm. I've made them about a centimetre long, which is which is fine. So what I thought of doing is just starting with the French seam, really. So, Brilliant. But um, when you cut out your pieces, you've got a uh, sleeve piece, you've got front piece, back piece, which is cut on the fold. And then you've also got a pocket and, you saw, and you've got a front band as well. So... We'll deal, we'll deal with the band later. You don't need to worry too much about direction of print with these fabrics, do you, either? Not with these fabrics, no. No, no you, do, you can sort of place That's them any, any way you like. So um, when, you, when you're sewing a French seam, normally what you do when you sew an ordinary seam is you sew with the right size together. Mm -hmm. And then you finish the seam and then that's it. Whereas with this, what you do is you're sewing to the wrong sides together. So what you do is you're taking... So shall I go back to the beginning and just show what I've done already? <laughs> okay. So I've basically joined the, the shoulder seams here. So I've sewn, sewn the front 
to the back and joined it at the shoulders. And then we've top stitched them as well along the um, shoulder seam. And then um, attach just the sleeve. So the sleeve is just, it's very easy construction. You just literally attach the sleeve to, to the sides of the um, front and back. And then press it over and then top stitch down. And then the next stage is to do your lovely French seam. And so, as I said, you're going to put the wrong sides together and then match up the underarm with the, uh, the underarm at raw edges. And you can see that I've actually folded over my hem before I've done this. And this is a quite a good tip to do that because it's um, easier to do it when it's straight and flat than it is when you've actually um, made it into a sleeve, you know, right. so when you've yeah. sewn it together. So you're pinning together your raw edges with the wrong sides together. And you pin all the way along like that. And then, uh, here we go. And then this is the side edge of the front and the back. So it's here. Right. So you're pinning all the way down. Yeah, there. So, and then, pin that there. Does this fabric behave itself? It's quite silky, silky. It's quite, it's very light. I think you need to have a lightness of touch with this with this fabric and also maybe you might need to put a finer uh, needle in your machine. Right, okay. I mean, I just used an 80 and it was fine, but um, you know, if you, you know, sometimes it's quite nice to use a, a fine, an extra fine thread mm -hmm. um, and, and as I say a 70 needle, but um, it, you know, just an 80 is fine and an ordinary thread, an ordinary, you know, good quality thread is fine. But, you know, you could consider getting a fine thread instead. You often get a lot more for your money, don't you, with fine yeah, threads? Yeah. Right, so um, I'm now going to sew along that edge. Now I'm going to make a, a, like a minimum hem, a minimum seam here. So what I might do is just move my stitch over. So I don't know what, um, hang on, let's just go to, I'll move it over manually because I don't know what the program number is. Yeah, they, a lot of them do have the uh, the number. Where have you moved your needle then? So I've moved the needle position closer to the edge just so that I can bank up the side of the foot yeah. and the, the needle is going to literally do about a quarter of an inch seam. There we go, so let's just take my pins out as I go and then just make sure those edges are together. You can just sort of see them underneath. I think this is a nice first project though for somebody who's doing dressmaking because you don't need to worry so much about lots of fittings, lots of darts and you know that sort no, of thing. No, that's right. Do you know, I also think this is a really good present to make somebody. Yeah, yeah, if you're not quite no, sure. You no, know, I think, um, or even a present, you know, to give the present, to give the pattern as a present to a beginner because, idea, um, yeah. you know, uh, you know, got Christmas coming, sorry, mentioned the C word already, <laughs> but, um, you know, this is, it's, you know, you, you can sort of rest sure that, you know, that it's going to be something that they're going to manage and that, that's going to fit them, you know. Yeah, with this pattern, I must say, similarly to the last pattern that we talked about, you break it down beautifully. It's, it's all with photographs and images. Yes. And and also it has got the blog as well, which has got the photographs where you can see how it's made. Oh, great. Um, you know, all the step by steps and, and also, you know, any add-ons that I've done since. So there you've got your um, seam on the side and I'm just going to take pins out. And then, now if you, you know, what you don't want is when you've, turned your seam to the right side that you sometimes get little thread ends or little bits of seam showing. So if you can just sort of like trim it down at this stage, um, you know, you could just take a little bit off just to kind of make sure that it doesn't show from the other side. 
If it does, if you've got a few thread ends, you can always pull them and trim them off. So you're just trimming without going near your stitches. That's it. I'm not cutting, I'm not going too near my stitches, but I'm just literally tidying up that edge just to so that, can you see there, you've got some thread ends and yeah. they're going, they could get trapped in the seam. So I'm just going to just trim it down. It's easier to do it now than later when it's sewn up. If you have got an overlocker, can you construct a lot of this on your overlocker? Yes, definitely. There's no reason why you can't just um, overlock your seams instead of sewing them and then, mm. and then finishing them. Save you a lot of time then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Quite nice to do I haven't actually seen this done in a jersey, but it would be quite nice Ooh. to do it in a jersey with nice. fabric, wouldn't it? Yeah, you'd have quite, um, again, like a knitty cardigan, sort of more feel, feel yeah. to it. Yeah. Right, so I'm just pressing that seam flat on the right side, just because, you know, when you sew um, this kind of fabric, you do sometimes get a little bit of puckering. So press it flat like that. And then what we'll do is we'll just turn it inside out so the wrong side is facing upwards. And then... We're going to press it so that the seam, now what I like to do is to just press that seam flat first of all because then I can get my seam nice and aligned with the fold. So if you, if you, if you iron it flat like that and then you can slightly pull it apart, get a bit of steam going. I mean, with this sort of fabric, you might need to... Is it cotton or is it viscose? I think that's a viscose. I'll, yes. find, I'll have a look. You might need a silk setting on your iron. And then we're going to fold over that... So that... The, roll it onto your fingers so it... That's it. Flat. So so you can see that that um, seam is yeah. aligned with the fold. Right, I'm with you. And then we can just press that again. Question from me, what setting do I need to do if it's viscose then on my iron? Well, on a silk setting. Oh, okay. Yes, just treat it like silk. It says because... it's 100% spun viscose. Yeah, so a little bit, I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm quite ironing it quite there? hot there, but you know, it's, it's behaving quite well, but just, just to be on the safe side, it's probably better to turn it down a bit. There we go. So they do press beautifully, don't they? They're viscose. They're a beautiful quality, aren't they? I'm like you, though. I could really like that mosaic oh, that one. one's lovely. Something a bit Islamic design. about it, isn't there? Yeah. Just want that holiday in Morocco at the <sighs> same time, don't you? I know. I think it's staycations this year, isn't it's it? It's worthing for me <laughs> this year. I must say though, the day um, in Stratford. I've oh, wow. I found such be beautiful walks where I live and really? such beautiful places. And um, yeah, we mm. I'm actually quite enjoying. I've said this year I do just want to stay. Up. Fingers crossed. If we get a little mm. weekend away, we're on about going to the Lake District in a, in September. So. Well, you're very welcome to come down to Worthing, Vicky. Oh. Do you know I was on the beach the other day and I looked out and I thought. It's like the Mediterranean here. Yeah. It's just so, and everyone was so happy. And I thought, you know, we're all falling in love with our own country That's again, it. aren't we? Yeah. We're, you know, I mean, there's people still going off to, you know, Spain and, but I mean, generally speaking. Yeah, most um, of us are doing staycations, aren't we? You know, right. it's just, right. I'm just going to go back to the ordinary needle position now. Okay. So I'm just going to sew a, a basic one centimeter seam. And Which I'm, part on your kimono is this that you're sewing now? So we're inside. sewing the inside. So we're going back and we're sewing the side seam okay. that we've just previously sewn yeah. the wrong side out. Yeah. out. Um, we're now sewing the other way around. Right, so, so, together. so we just do our little back stitch there. And I'm whizzing it up. And I just line up my side of my foot with the edge of the fabric. Now, you know, if you've got Esme behind you, you might like to even go even closer, you know, and have a really super fine, <laughs> that was sort of impress her, wouldn't it? Oh, I know. That and a nice bow. She likes a nice bow, doesn't she? Yeah. 
Did you watch all of the sewing be this year? Oh, glued to the set. I love it. <laughs> did you like? Did you like yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Even if it is just to watch Patrick. Oh, I know. <laughs> He is a bit of a dish, isn't he? He is a bit of a dish, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he's a, he's a definite sort of um, bonus to the sewing world, that's for sure. <laughs> Him and Monty Don would go in my Oh, my... Monty Don, you got oh, Have you been yeah. talking to Hannah? Hannah's obsessed with Monty is Don. She? I had no idea who he was, but really? that's why she's got into gardening, because her obsession with yeah. Monty Don. It's funny, because when we came up here, we saying, I was saying, I think Monty Don lives around here. <laughs> Your husband is literally in the next room. <laughs> uh, no, he knows He knows that I'm a big fan of Monty Don. <laughs> he tolerates it. Right, so there we are. Now, um, I've got a uh, nice uh, black thread here, just so that I can... Telly purposes. So, yes, exactly. But um, let's just give that a press. So you better try and match your threads in, really. Obviously, match your thread colour to your fabric. There's an advantage. <laughs> but you can see it quite clearly there, can't you? And also, I've done a rather rather um, dark overlocking there. But you can see there that, you know, if, if that's not uh, overlocked, you can zigzag your edge. But obviously, you would use them for self-coloured thread. Paul, is this 20 minutes for the whole lot? When Let me know when we need to sweat. Oh, so 20 minutes with the kimono, if that's all right with you, yeah. Fiona. Now, when you're pressing, um, you know, because obviously you've got your side seam there that needs a nice pressing on the right side, just make sure that underneath your seam, your French seam is going towards the back. Right. And then you can just press it like so. And you might want to get yourself, I don't know whether you sell the, these on yours, but they're really great, is uh, the... Pressing ham. Pressing ham. I did say it. Yes, really we do have the pressing ham. Something hand. like that. I suppose when you are, yeah, when you are working on a curve or you're working things, it is really handy to be able to... Yes, to or right even something seams. like this where, you know, if I ironed it like that, it would press, it would put press a pleat ah, in okay. the side of the sleeves. So it just means that I can sort of get at an angle and just press that one bit there just the side seam rather than all of it right so um here we go we've got the sleeves done now what we're going to do now is we're now i've already done the sleeve here you can see i've just literally turned under and pressed and then hemmed the sleeve um edge um, so you could do that now. We um, found the Taylor's hand, by the way. It's eleven ninety nine. It's the exact one that you've got. So yeah, so they're really good. They're not too big, so they're quite. You can actually fit them inside a sleeve or inside in the armhole. So right. I think they're quite good. Brilliant. Now um, I've turned under and pressed. Now I'm just going to make a minimum hem on the bottom here, and that's fine. You don't have to adjust your band length if you do a minimum hem here because you've got a little bit extra. You know, when you put your band on, mm -hmm. you've got a bit extra to accommodate for your hem on the bottom being okay. various lengths. The only thing I would say that is that if you're going to borrow one of the other size lengths, then cut your band piece the same as your length. length. Yes, so okay. if you're going to a length of 20, then cut the band length 20 as well. But if you do just the small hem you, you you're still okay so i'm just literally turning under a centimeter and then over again a centimeter you're just doing this by eye but as a beginner yes. would you measure it does it need to be accurate how what's your best way well of you guessing could you could get a little hem measure out they're right. quite good yeah um or so See those what, little cards, those ironing cards, actually. I think there's yeah, some print ones really on the website good. that you yes. can fold over and you measure it. Yes. You can the other thing them. that I do sometimes is I use the machine. I use the, the uh, seam guys on the machine and I literally do a, a line of stitching two centimetres all the way around from the bottom edge and then I use that as a guide to how it turn up to. So that's a really good little tip.
There we go. So obviously you can take a little bit of time doing that. Just missed a little bit there, so let's just... And then pop some pins in. Obviously you could pin it a little bit more than me. But, you know, it's lovely drape, this fabric. Mm. Oh, it is. Honestly, that is such stunning fabric. I've not seen yeah. that one before. Um, remember, two and a half metres is enough to do the largest size, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of fabric uh, in the bundles, and the pattern is separately today. I mean, on my blog, there's also free patterns for how to do things like um, like a scarf or something. Oh, nice. I mean, a really simple scarf. So if you've got something and you just like to have that sort of... Bianca yeah. Jagger look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, you know, just using. Right, so you're doing a hem at the bottom edge there. And I tell you what, shall I? Because we have got a little bit of time yeah, there. Yeah, 15 minutes. Right, okay, I'll just hem that. And. When you're hemming, are you staying as close to so the we're inside going... edge? So we're going to, to sew close to the inner fold. Yeah. So I'm literally about three millimetres away or... As close as you can get without falling off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> and just make sure it's even all the way around because these stitches are going to be seen on the other side. So, you, you know, if you've got a really good colour match, then you can get away with more, can't you? Mm -hmm. But if you've got... Like me, I think it's actually coming out black. <laughs> Quite a bold contrast, you want to make yes. sure you're neat. <laughs> no pressure, Fiona. <laughs> yes, I'm making a feature of that bottom inch. <laughs> this is a nice machine, isn't it? I like this one. Yeah, this is the um, the machine Fiona's using is the 550, I believe. Did you see the 550A yesterday with, um, or was it this one that you saw with Debbie? This was the one that was demonstrated yesterday with Debbie. This one? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's a lovely one, actually, for anybody who is... It's quite you know, simple, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, like simple machines. I don't like too much singing and dancing. I think it's the only machine that we've got, if I believe... How much is this one, Laura? Can you remember? 499, I think it's the only one that we've got on, on the website that's less than £500, which... Anyone who is, like you say, you've had a lot of people who have started sewing or yeah. maybe borrowed somebody's sewing machine during lockdown or dusted off a really old one. They're great because they're computerised, so the needle yeah. will move along when you choose your setting. Yeah. But like you say, there's not too much complication. No, it. it's, not, it's not overwhelming. Some of them I just think, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, because, you know, so I, I mean, I just like straight stitch and a bit of zigzag that's it if you don't need all, all the singing really. and dancing fancy I do stitches. like the fact that it drops the needle down and yeah. I like the fact that it moves the needle position over I think that's something I use an awful lot yeah. of and that's what this one has so um, yeah it's got some good programs as well hasn't it yeah right so I've hemmed the bottom edge and I, I literally could sew this, you know, sometimes uh, if I've cut it out beforehand, I could um, sew it up quite quickly, probably in an evening. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to show you these pockets. They're literally very simple patch pockets. Oh, it's got pockets, of it's course. Got pockets. <laughs> just like nice little sort of, oops, um, oops, that your drink gone over. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't have to do the pockets. And of course, you know, if you want to pattern match, you could. But mm -hmm. I mean, I quite like it. Just, just yeah, it... I don't like to make my life too difficult. <laughs> so don't always do that. Um, and then you just literally turn under and stitch the top hem. And then you turn under your raw edges. You could zig them first, but it, you know, with this fine fabric, you, you might be better just leaving it raw, to be honest. It might just chomp it up. And then you just literally fold under and then pin them on, hand tack them and then top stitch them nicely on the right side. Is the placement of them in your pattern where they need yes, to go? Yes, yeah. so on the pattern it shows you with the different sizes, the different pocket positions. So Fantastic. that's all very clear. So here's your front band. 
And there's no interfacing as well on this. So you don't oh. have to buy anything else. It's just That's fabric, like you know, because you don't want your front band sort of being quite rigid and the interfacing will make it rigid. So you just leave it nice and floppy. Now you can see that I've just sewn it together at the short sides. Just pop it. So I've sewn it together and then I've pressed my seam open and then I've top stitched either side. And then what I've done is just I folded the whole band in half and pressed it and then I open it out and then just fold under and press one centimeter on one of the edges. It doesn't really matter which which one it is. Right. Okay. So then what you do is you locate your center uh, back seam and which is the seam you've the join that you've just done and then you find your center back. Now, uh, you could notch your pattern before you do this, or you could just fold it over, find your back, and just pinch it. That gives you a little pleat. If you want to see it a bit better, you can just put a pin in. And then match up your seam with the right sides together. Match them up to your edge, to your back, centre back seam. To the center back. <laughs> you know what I mean. And um, then you match up side seams, pin it in here. Over half the stock of the pattern on its own is sold out completely. Oh. Um, I think a lot of people just, it's very flattering mm. for, for everybody, isn't it? I think it suits yeah. everyone, any age. Do you know, and this will look really nice uh, to be made uh, for parties, yeah. Christmas. We didn't mention that, did we? Did we mention Christmas? Um, <laughs> Um, you know, it's just one of those things that's just, you know, if you want to get into dressmaking, this is the perfect thing to make, I think, because it doesn't take too much fabric as well. I think up to 18, it only takes about a metre and a half of fabric, Brilliant. obviously for more if you've got yeah. larger sizes. Um, and if you do smaller sizes, you might even be able to get two out of um, one of the bundles, Fantastic. actually. Not too sure. I'll have to check on that one. But so... So yeah, it's quite just quite a but actually this is I think I've got to say this is my most popular pattern. Oh wow. Yeah. And it is very, very popular today, just eighteen pounds fifty. And I think it it is gonna be a pattern that you make more than once. <laughs> yeah. I don't know with you whether you've got the picture, but I made one. We had a party with my uh for my mum's I think it was her 80th or something, yeah. and we all got together and I was doing show at the sewing court I don't know if I'm allowed to yeah. mention the sewing court but I was it and, and um uh we all no. dressed up in our kimonos and we took a, a photo I don't know if he's oh, got it but what who would have had it I think I did send it in oh I sent it in to you and I think it was like a photograph of my oh my my mum and my niece and to the studio email yeah was I think so here yeah yeah oh. We'll have a look and see if you've got it. Maybe I didn't, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I imagined that, but I thought I did. But anyway, um, so we're pinning it all the way down. You'll to... have to put it on the fan page for us to see. Yeah, I will do. It's a lovely picture. And then, yes, because you can, you know, you if you've got lots of um, gorgeous girls in your family, you know, you could make, oh, make one each have, for them, couldn't yeah, you? Imagine. With one pattern, you know, you can make... You... That's it. I wouldn't cut your pattern out. Trace it out. Because oh, yeah, Because you definitely. want to make it in different sizes for everybody, don't you? That's right. So I'm just making um, tracing paper is good. Or okay. dot, dot and cross. Right. That kind of thing. Now, um, I definitely would prefer to... Now, you can just pin and sew, but I think it's always a good idea to, to, to tack that on, hand tack it on. It's just a little bit easier to sew. Well, it's not an almighty, you know, a lot of pad pieces and it's not a huge project that actually just spending that extra bit of time just doing the hand tacking. That's right. It will really add that lovely professional finish. Exactly. When you say, especially when you're going to be able to sew it up in an evening. Mm. That's right. So what you do is you then sew all the way round so it's all the way round here and down to the bottom. And how much time have I got now? 
Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. Right. So I'll now the good idea. It's a good idea to start sewing from the back neck down one side and then the back neck on the other side and right. sew down because then you're not getting any puckering going on. Good so, idea. And you're getting um, even distribution. If it is going to move a bit, it's going to move in the same way. Right. So here I go. Just make sure all your edges are matched up. And I think it's all right to remember to stop, isn't it, and reposition, especially with fabrics like Definitely. this. Definitely. You probably are going to have to stop and just check there's nothing catching underneath and you're all in the right place. Yes. I mean, I suppose if you've tacked it, you probably wouldn't do that, would you? I mean, I like, I, you know, I quite like tacking in front of the telly, actually. I always think that's quite a yeah. good time to do it because you can take your time. Well, I know you? a lot of sewers who just can't watch the telly without doing some sort of stitching. Mm. <laughs> Are you one of those people? <laughs> yeah, pinning and stitching and yes. Sketching, I like sketching ideas as well. But mostly checking social media, I think, mainly. <laughs> yeah, Paul's saying he's, he can't put a film on without having loads of snacks. Oh, really? He's eating, watching the telly. <laughs> Even if he's had his dinner. <laughs> well, he's quite slim, slim though, isn't he, Paul? Paul? So, this Paul. This Paul. Or is that your... your... No, this Paul, here. No, of course, yeah, he is. I'm joking. He is very slim. I think the last time I saw you, Vicky, you just got married. <gasps> My gosh, I've been married over a year now. Ah, that just shows you, isn't it? It's been a long, too long, too long. I know, it's been so lovely to just be back with you. I've been watching when you've been on, going, oh, oh I can't wait to see Fiona. <laughs> Yeah, I've been following you on social media, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you've been getting up to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All your parties. <laughs> <laughs> and holidays. <laughs> right. There we are. So I'm not back stitching now. I'm just going to leave it. And then I go... Do you know what? I'm, I might just leave the other side because I can show you the bottom bit just on one side only. Right. Now, I've deliberately cut this band a bit long, so I'm just going to trim this down. But you you will probably have an overhang yeah. on the bottom edge. So that's good. If you do want to choose, you know, one of the larger sizes for the length of it, like mm. you say, you've got enough. That's right. You can band. sort of just trim it off if you've got a little bit too much. But you really do need to have at least a centimetre or two to sort of fold under there. So now what I'm going to do is just press that seam towards the band. Now, it uh, might be a good idea to just press it on the right side first, just because you can sort of... Ooh, just sort of it's it. falling off. I've got a lot of room to work with here. So there we go. So you can just pull and press. So you want to see those, almost see your stitches. Like so. The other thing you have to be careful with, with um, viscose particularly, is sometimes you do get a bit of snagging. I mean, I'm fine today, but... If you are getting a bit of snagging, there's some little white lines that are pulling, just to do a little bit of a sample on some scrap fabric, then um, the best thing is to do is to use like a jersey needle or a ballpoint needle. Oh, okay. And that will stop that. Because basically viscose has got a lot of very fine filaments and they can sometimes get pulled by the, you know, very hairline nicks on the, on the needle. Now here, so see here, I've, I've, there's the band and I folded the band backwards and I have, I've met, I've joined up, lined up the fold to the join underneath. Can you see? Yeah. And then I'll just put in a pin there. I bring them over a bit nearer. You've literally got a couple of minutes. Oh, that's just enough, I think. And then, um, 
and then what I do, what I'm going to do is just, now I would get a ruler and I would just draw a line or a marker pen, an invisible marker pen, and just draw a line here to the other edge. And then if you just sew down that band, so you, what you want is your stitching to Ooh, be lined up. to be in line with the bottom edge of your hem. Okay. So you just forwards and backwards. And across, and backwards and forwards. Out it comes, trim down your excess. You want to leave just a little bit. No, no, you know, but you can leave about a quarter of an inch minimum. And then just nick your corner like that and then turn it inside out. Oh, that'll give you a nice point. And trimming. there's your lovely bottom edge of your band. And oh, you can nice. see how that like, lines up with the bottom edge of your rather lovely kimono. Amazing. Like you say, everything's in the instructions and there's also, again, your blog yes, with and it's, extra. It's illustrated as well. And you've got photo step by steps on the blog. So you've got both with this one. You can see it all coming together, how gorgeous that's going to look that's in this colourway. together. Yeah. And if you want your band to be really, really wide, you could cut two of those and stitch them together here and then sew on a giant band and then you can fold it back at the top. Oh, that'd look lovely yeah. as well. Yeah, let's put it on the mannequin. So we want to move across. By the way, the, the pan itself is selling very, very quickly, as is the fabrics. In the lead at the moment, the, the fabric that you've um, that you've seen, the fabric that you've seen is very popular. The pattern is £18.50, size 8 to 28. All of your instructions, photos, and the second image on the website you'll see is all of your fabric requirements. But we've put some bundles together, which is enough to do uh, the largest size. The blue is beautiful. Two and a half metres of fabric. It is 100% viscose, stunning colour. For £39.49, you get two and a half metres. We also have the mulberry. This is slightly, slightly heavier and it's got a very slight stretch to it. Can I have a feel? Yeah. Ooh. That's going to be interesting as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's really gorgeous. I love the colours in that one. £39.49. pence. That's your mulberry blooms. And then your last option, I think, was Fiona and my favourite, which is this one, which is quite Moroccan, actually. I just love that pop of orange in it as well. Mm. You it's get like a nail nice, varnish. Um, and I, there we go. Goes with mine there, doesn't it? Slightly. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's the whole beauty of these, isn't it? That you team it up with your lipstick and your, and your nail varnish. Yeah. And uh, make sure it all matches. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's such a And you get two and a half metres. Right, right. So, remember, those of you that are purchasing seeing any of the kits today, you're also entered in the prize draw to win one of Fiona's panels. It's going to be announced tomorrow, the winner, so you're automatically entered. Okay, now the bags. So... So I'm not going to do a demonstration on the we're bag. So I hope we've got, through. we're going to talk through it, aren't we? So we've got three different bundles to go for. This one. Now it's a very versatile bag, actually, isn't it? Because mm. you're going to be able to do it as a shoulder bag and you're going to be able to do it as a satchel. Now I believe you've got a couple of samples. So Thank you. Uh, we've got the backpack version. There's a such a one behind you as well, Fiona, up on the top. We have got uh, this one here, which is in the most beautiful needle. Oh cord. yeah, we've got that one as well. We'll show you. This is the first kit, by the way. So you get your pattern, which we'll go through. You then also get half a meter of your tulips. Right, so that's, the cotton is for the lining inside. So you Ooh, can lovely. see that you can make a real feature you know, imagine if that's underneath like that. That is just oh, nice. really gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely. And then you also get um, your medium weight linen look denim. So that's going to be very, very similar, actually, to the mm. backpack one that you've yeah, got made there. Yeah, almost identical, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly blacker, isn't it? Which yeah, is a little bit slightly more versatile. darker. Yes. All just together with the tulips. So that's £23.49, including your pattern. We've also got, let's do the one with the sky blue in because this is this gorgeous, like you say, cord fabric. And you've got the, the 
sky blue lining this time. Do you know what I love about this, Fiona? I've been doing lots of walking during lockdown. Oh, yeah. And I think a lot of people are doing, like, you know, the little hikes and picnics yeah. and things. So it's nice to be able to have a backpack. Yeah. And I was... You know, I think it's really nice to be able to have a bag. It's a good size bag. Yeah. And the option of having, you know, you can make it as a shoulder strap uh, right. satchel or the backpack. Yes. Ideal. It's, I really, really like the two-in-one. Because originally it was my Brompton shoulder bag. And then uh, I wanted to do a backpack pattern. And then I just thought, actually... I, by just a little bit of, a, uh, you know, the, the long strap mm -hmm. is cut in half and be, makes two straps for the backpack. So I just thought, why not combine them? I mean, it's, you know, then you've got the option of doing either. Um, so you get half a metre of, sorry, you get, yeah, half a metre yeah. of each of your fabric. And that's really yes. wide as well. And that's then the right. last option is, again, with the lovely cord and this time with the yeah. spot. That's that, a great version of this, isn't yeah. it? With blues, beautiful, Gosh, aren't they? Gorgeous. I know. That's really. I different. did. I did have a little bit of influence on this fabric yeah. actually, because I just thought, you know, it's a little bit like a, it's a bit like a tapestry bag. It is. But no it's a bit unusual to get it in a backpack or a shoulder bag, isn't That's it? It's it. like a messenger bag. Yeah. Normally, when you see backpacks, they're always like the sporty ones, and I, I like the fact this is a real stylish that's backpack, right. isn't it? Now, uh, um, sorry. So, no, go on. So that's a metre of fabric. And your pattern for I'm rustling away here with my plastic bags. This is the story of my life. Now, um, the pattern for uh, the shoulder bag messenger comes with the metal rings. So metal, well, you're probably going to say this, aren't no, you? No, go on. I don't know. So, oh, so you probably <laughs> don't know because it's, it's inside here. So it's hidden. But we just thought it would protect it a bit more in the post. Um, but what it comes, shall I open this one up? So what you're getting is two metal rings. So you're getting these bits here that go on either side. Um, and there's uh, two on the backpack as well. So you're getting exactly the same. And you're getting two sliders. And so you could do either do two sliders for the backpack or just have one, and you've got one spare for the messenger bag. Brilliant. So you don't have to go out and get it. Oh, that's now, great to not have to, you know, additional yeah, costs on your hardware. That's all exactly. included. Exactly. The only thing you need is some wadding or some interfacing or something. Yeah. Now, um, I've got two options. So this one has got foam in it. Has it? Yeah. Also, it's given it quite a nice structure, hasn't it? Structure. And also, if you've got, like, if you want to carry a laptop then it's going to protect it a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you're going to use foam, I don't know if you sell that. We've got the Starville foam, which is the, um, it's actually heated. Oh, well, uh, that's even yeah. better. Because if you haven't got the, the fusible, yeah. what do you mean it's a yeah, fusible, fusible one? Yeah. So if you haven't got that, you have to obviously have to have spray glue to spray it on. But if it's, if it's heat, then yeah. that's even better. You don't have to go and get some of that because that's quite expensive, isn't it? Anyway, um, so what I was going to say was, if you are using the foam, then just trim off a, a one centimetre. I mean, it's not... Yes, I think it is written in the pattern. So you trim off a centimetre all around the edges so that where you're sewing your seam, you're not sewing the foam as well. So right. it just reduces the bulk. Yeah. And I think that's quite common in bag, yeah. bag making. Yeah. But with the H640, I think you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, Especially with some of those heavier down. weight fabrics, it's still yeah. going to give it that shape and keep the shape, isn't it, with H640? Yes, yes. So uh, this one here, which... I could show you. It's a winter version. It's done with a sort of oh, British nice. wool. So this is obviously a winter version. Gosh, that's lovely for a guy as well, isn't it? I, imagine I have a lot ball. of men buying these, yeah. yeah. And um, it's got that kind of quintessential classic British sort of, yeah. I'm not going to say English, but it's British. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. But anyway, but it, it, and the buckle makes it. And I really originally wanted to put a buckle in the pack. But because of lockdown, it was going to take quite a long time to get them in. So as a um, consolation, I have put in a magnetic clasp as Brilliant. well. So in the pattern, you get a magnetic clasp, two rectang rectangle mm. sliders, yeah, and two rectangle rings in antique brass colour. And you can see that this one has just got, I've just put the, um, I'll show it this way. There we go. So you can see that I've just put it on the inside flap. But actually, when I was making it, I was thinking, you know, you could put the... The clasp the, there, The clasp yeah. here. I don't yeah. know if the camera... You could just put the clasp here, couldn't you? Yeah. 
And then it's still, you know, or you could put in both, you know. And then what you've also got is you've got um, an inside pocket oh, as brilliant. well. Oh, brilliant. And the other thing is you, what I thought would be quite nice is, and you can find tutorials for on the internet, is to maybe put a little zip. Zip pocket on the back. A letterbox zip on the outside just so that you put your tickets in and things like that. It's quite a good idea. Um, but it's a, just a really, I mean, that fabric is just lovely. Oh, it is. Now, just a little word about this fabric because it actually has got a bit of stretch in it. Um, let me just get my glasses and no, I won't leave these on. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's got a bit of elastane in it. Now you, you really, so when you come to the handles, you really do, I, I haven't accommodated for fabrics with elastane in them. Right. So you just need to put some, um, just ordinary straightforward interfacing. Yeah. You could use the H640 on the handle okay. and that just stops it from stretching. And you can see that I've done quite a few nice lines of stitching there as well. You know, normally on the pattern, I've just said just top stitch either side, but I just added a few more stitches that will give it on even the handle more just to give it a little bit more strength. Um, and also with needle cord, you have got a direction. So if you feel the, the fabric, you can feel that going downwards, it's smooth right. and going upwards, it's rough. And so just make sure that all your pile is going downwards right, okay. on your pattern. Now, when you've got your pieces, I, what I like to do is to stick a piece of masking tape or just a piece of paper that you've written on and just put your arrow on it and just you can write what flap, outer, flap lining and just put your arrow so that it notifies what and then you don't have to keep feeling it all the time. You can see what direction that you're in. So that's a really, you know, sort of just a little tip really. Good idea. Um, the other thing is, I would say, when you're bag making, it's a good idea to put your walking foot on the fat on the machine. Mm -hmm. If you've got a walking foot, especially with bag foam, that's really what you need. Yeah. And um, but I think if you've got H640, I think you can definitely you make fine. it without. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, a lot of people sort of say, "Oh, do I definitely need a walking foot?" And a lot of the modern mm. machines tend to handle a lot better than you actually think. Yes, so give it a go. True. But if you have got a walking yes. foot on, it will make life easier. Yes, I don't think it's got I a nice boxy bottom as well, hasn't it? Lovely box bottom. Yes, we do like a box bottom. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> nice and deep one as well. So you know, it's sort of like you know, and also you know, because it's got the slider on it, you can adjust it. It's got a lovely long handle, so you can adjust it really long. And this is like the width of a fabric, which is actually 150. Uh, but you can see that it's quite a bit too long. This one is 140, so it's just a little bit shorter, but it's still long enough to make the strap. So, but just a little quick note: if you don't want to make the strap yeah, get with some the webbing. fabric, why not get some webbing? I mean, you can look always how cover lovely. it, can't you? Well, you can just keep it as it yeah. is. It looks lovely as it is, but, but you can cover nice, it with Because it, it sort of picks up on that taupe. Yeah. What colour does the, this one have? Yeah, this one would look lovely with that yeah. as well. Yeah, so you can that get a really, really... This nice. taupe webbing is quite quite um, easy to find. Yeah. I think in the pack you have got a uh, 25mm width sliders and rings. So you will need to match that with your strap if you're going to buy right, in yeah. strap. Yeah. But um, if you don't want to buy in strap, you can just make your own. There's enough fabric in half a metre to make your you know, strap. Fantastic. Quick. Go on. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing is uh, for the messenger bag, which is the one with the one strap, is that it, inside you can see it's got a top band piece there. Can you see? Yeah. So um, it just means that when your bag is sitting up, you're seeing the outer fabric mm -hmm. um, when you look in and the lining is right deep down. Now with this one, you've got the lining, uh, you've got the option to have the lining on the flap so that when you lift it up, you're getting a that flap, nice contrast. which is just so lovely with that floral fabric, isn't it? And you great know. with this one as well. Yeah. Great with that. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you, so with the, now what you can do if you want is you can have the messenger bag with this style mm. flap. You know, you don't have to oh, have... you can mix and match them So a you bit. can mix and match. So, and it's quite nice because, you know, it just me makes the lining grow into the flap, doesn't it? It's sort of oh, all yeah. in one. So, you know, which is really good. Um, 
and this one I've actually put the denim as the pocket instead yeah. of the lining fabric so you, play know, you can play around thank you ever so much oh, thank sorry. you no no, no 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 it's fine <laughs> I know we could carry on and go and go and go yeah. couldn't we but there's uh, we've literally got a minute or so oh, left right. on air so don't forget anybody who's already bought Fiona's competition uh, any of Fiona's patterns you don't need to worry you're automatically entered into the competition anybody who purchases Today, um, any of the patterns, whether it have been the skirt, the kimono or the bag, you're all entered. So do watch tomorrow's show to find out whether you are the winner of the panels, which is very exciting. Joe, and you're back with, the, with us, Fiona. I'm back in September. Uh, I can't remember the date, though. So oh. sorry. Oh, hope I see you then. Oh, yeah. Hope I'm with you. It's been so lovely to be back I with know, you. it's been lovely. It's been yeah, so, so, so lovely, lovely to see you again. Um, don't forget, all of the patterns are available still on the website. Even when we come off our live show now, there's still another hour repeat before we hand over to Jewellery Maker. Tomorrow's show is epic. Eight o'clock, it should say at the start there. Eight o'clock, we've got the biggest early bird special ever it's the best early bird we've ever done it's the biggest early bird we've ever done so whatever you do do not miss it and i'm joined by the absolute wonderful wendy orlando she's got barley pops to do 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 she loves barley pops as well so I'm excited to see the quilt that she's made um oh and i know that when i first met her she was going i'm not a quilter i'm not a quilter vic so i'm really excited to see that at nine o'clock we've got tools we've got kits we've got a bit of a roundup at 10 o'clock we've got the big bow satchel again with wendy orlando so if you are loving the bag making in fact early bird wink 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 bag makers you're going to love the early bird tomorrow um so do make sure you watch that and 11 o'clock those of you that are getting into dressmaking we are looking at adjuster forms and uh, dressmaking fabrics so if you do want to make sure you make the most of it uh coming up then we'll also um offer you those tilde discounted fabric a bit of a repeat of any that's left what's coming up next paul the next hour is a replay of yesterday's show. I think it was the eight o'clock show, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, that's going to be straight after this. It's all right. Thank you ever so much for your. Yes, thank you. It's been amazing yeah, to see been you. Lovely to see you. I'll see you in the morning for the best early bird ever. Can't wait. It's going to be brilliant. Repeat right after this.